college meeting together to together college meeting to order at 6 42 p.m this is the regular meeting of the rockbridge rock rockbridge rochester stockbridge unified district it's because it's the summer camp yeah there you go rockbridge um so uh there are two additions uh i'd like to make to the agenda number one is uh to uh put under other slash new business under six, make 6.1 be the uh, principal search. And uh, as a discussion item, I'd like to add a 4.4, which is the, um, I want to discuss the community engagement uh, technical assistance grant and actually the planning guide for communities that, that came out with that. Assistance, so community engagement assistance grant, technical assistance grant. Yes. Uh, Ooh, community engagement. Like, they can't make like it short. No, they can't. So, so we don't need to just. I just asked if we don't need to discuss the last day of school. Well, that's not this board. That would be right. The, okay. Uh, Got right. It. Right. That would be the, 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 the regular old board. Technical assistance cool. grant. Te technical Frank, assistance uh, grant. Uh, that's like I said, the old board. I wanted to get filmed. <laughs> All right, it's your better side, right? Yeah. But, but, but before we dare, we uh, tear into those meaty subjects. Um, we have in our uh, packet minutes for uh, uh, Tuesday, April third meeting, um, the uh, April twelfth me special meeting, as well as the uh, April seventeenth special meeting. Uh, I would entertain a motion to. Uh, Approve them all, or if we want to discuss them individually, approve them individually. We can either approve them as a slate, approve them as a slate, or we can go through them one by one. What is your pleasure? Slate. Yeah, I'd go for that. And not much for you. All right, uh, I would entertain a motion to approve, to approve the consent agenda, being the minutes of the regular meeting of April 3rd, the special meeting of April 12th, and the special meeting of April 17th. Uh, second. A motion has been made and seconded. Did someone make a motion? Oh, I, I'll make a motion. I okay. second it. Okay, so a motion has been made and seconded to approve the uh, minutes uh, as a slate. Um, discussion? This is um, just, a, just a clarification. Uh, this is uh, Jess, right? No, I believe if you look at the bottom, it should say oh. uh, uh, respectfully submitted by, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. If she did them there, she would write that at the end, otherwise I don't do Oh, but I think right. if you okay. Thank you. should write that anyway. I think, I think it's part of like the legal jargon yeah. you're supposed to yeah, use. Yeah. Just say respectfully submitted. yeah, I think that's the legal jargon yeah. you're supposed to use at the end. Okay. So I'd, I'd say okay. that up. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny, for your yes, typing you. up of these minutes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Any further discussion? All those in favor of all those in favor of approving the minutes of Tuesday, April third, uh, Thursday, April twelfth, and Thursday, uh, Tuesday, April seventeenth, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed. The minutes are approved. Um. And actually, even though I said I'm going to make it 4.4, since it's a simple matter, uh, and I, I don't want to slip through the cracks, I'm going to start, start with it. Um, the, the grant that I mentioned, the application is actually due today, and I'm not sure that uh, uh, we could get it submitted. But the thing I found that was interesting, and this was something I actually saw from the VSBA in, in, in my inbox today, and I just sent you guys a link to it. Um, there's a, a, a guide they have about uh, strengthening, it's, and the title of it is Strengthening and Sustaining Public Engagement in Vermont, a Planning Guide for Communities. And it, uh, when you look at the table of contents, it runs uh, under 20 pages, so it's not, it's not a long read, but I think it's, it, and when I skimmed, for, skimmed kind of through it, it seemed like it, it, it talks about a lot of the things that we've been, been sort of wrestling with. So I, I would suggest that you know we, we all take a look at that and we all you know use that as maybe maybe some some uh, uh, stepping off points for our conversations about a how to engage the community at our two informational meetings and uh, b what kind of 
you know, uh, outcomes or, you know, uh, outreach or objectives we're gonna we're gonna want to do going forward because I think we certainly had a lot of work to wrestle with that 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 budget in, in such a short time, but it also meant that we haven't really talked about how we're going to engage our communities and then how best to do that. So this Can is a grant that we're going to apply for? Well, it's the, the, the grant itself is actually due today. Um, they just said, you know, remember today's the last day. It was, was the email that I saw. Okay. But the key thing is, and I sent the link to the PDF, is there's a, 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 a fairly nice document about you know, Engagement. building engaging oh, the community right. and building so the community, and, that. Yeah. And, and then something that we could maybe look did at. Did you forward that to us? I did. Okay. I just uh, I, I just sent it uh, today, so you right. should you should see that. And so I wonder what the the grant. I guess the grant just provides for money for the engagement. Right. What they did. Okay. What the what what. Uh, you pay uh, people to engage. And you get a card. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, what Works happened to Tammany Hall? The 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 RFP the RFP basically says that uh, um, the the VS the, the VSBA hosted back uh, in the middle of the month apparently a workshop on engaged equitable governance that they had a grant party they got a grant to have this seminar and they also now have some money to distribute uh, to uh, uh, three districts across the state to, uh, uh, you know. Is this going to be an annual grant? Does it say anything about that? It, it, it does not. But uh, the, the big piece is, again, and I mean, if if you uh, look on the web page, you can see the link. If someone wanted to, 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 to write an application yep. tonight, yes. you could. Um, uh, but basically, it's about, you know, we, we, we needed to come up with a plan to, I'm not sure we could come up with a plan we could stand behind um, to do it, but it's, no, you know. You're, but the information in I think there. you're saying the information is very useful and that could Right, be right, and well that was one of our comments at our last meeting as we were wrapping up was like really, we need to figure out how to talk to our communities and all that and then I found it kind of serendipitous when, uh, you know, I'm like, oh look, here's a, you know, here's a 20 page PDF that's been, you know, professionally put together about doing exactly what we think we ought to do. We should take advantage of. You know, maybe, sorry, it's too bad we missed the grant, but we can. We can. Uh, uh, and if, if it if it does recur, we can certainly look for that. I think we need to be looking for for, for grants ourselves and beyond. What you know, uh, the grant writing at the SU level really seems to be about this. The the CFP, the, the federal grants, and and you know, CFP um, consolidated uh, federal programs like Title One reading and. Um, used to be like Title IV personal development. I think they can that, um, but they. But it seems like really her job is to get grants around, you know, educational uh, uh, objectives and staffing and things like that. I think that grants around community engagement and outreach and stuff like that. We're we're we're, we're kind of on our own, but I do think this 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 guide might be a a, a good thing to to, to look at and see if we can can't uh, at least build some strategies in our toolbox. No, I'm, I'm just really looking at this as engagement works best when it is interactive, timely, inclusive, authentic, transparent, informed, accessible, responsive. I mean, these are all a lot of the words we've thrown around since we yeah. pulled this right. Yeah, like I said, when I, when, I, 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 when I skimmed through it, it said, you know, it said, wow, this is a lot of the stuff we've been saying, and it seems to, you know, mirror our, mirror our directions and our intentions. So Great. I just wanted to, to get that out there. So. Next, we have, uh, let's zoom backwards, actually. So go ahead and give us the update on uh, the things happening with the Rochester board. Okay, well, uh, just to keep everybody abreast of what's happening, shall we say. Um, and here's my map. We, to, to sell the um, Dandelion Daycare Building, we have to subdivide uh, the property because it is part of the Rochester School property. The zoning in Rochester is such that a uh, parcel has to be a half of an acre for it to be subdivided. So the uh, Norm Smith came out and surveyed and put pins in and it, I have a copy of the map. Uh, we, it are, we have to um, get a variance because the property goes through our uh, bus lane uh, in the front, very front of the school, so uh, everybody knows where the, the sign is, right at the very front. Uh, basically, th then there's a um, uh, concrete divider, so uh, the very front all the way over 
to that divider would be on the, the new the subdivided property. Uh, and then all along the actual concrete of our of the bus lane and to up to the concrete uh, in front of our school, um, literally like 10 feet. 10 feet off of our front door, which is really scary. Um, and then it goes across the front of the um, elementary building over uh, to the other side of these two trees over to the shed um, and that uh, gives it a half of an acre. Wow. Now, um, as w we do have to relocate the preschool playground and the, f the fence and everything that we are put the PTO and put all this greenhouse and, and the greenhouse is the big one that has to be moved. Uh, we also have flower beds and yeah. stuff that are um, that are going to be there was a railroad ties you right. know full of dirt so all, all that stuff is going to need to be moved. Well, would you wouldn't you just I mean I can understand wanting to move the greenhouse. But wouldn't we just decide that the flower beds came with the property? It's possible. It's possible, but the preschool equipment has to be moved. And, yeah, I would. I, and I, the I, fence. I, 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 that, that's definitely the, the greenhouse are probably the two top priorities. But yeah, if I, we I mean, can move. Yeah. So uh, the uh, the uh, potential buyers have agreed to let us keep the play, the playground equipment on there until school is out, so that the children don't actually have to see their playground getting. Ripped, ripped up. up. Um, they are going to be able to use it for that last week of school because it, uh, the new owners don't want the liability of the kids being on the property. Uh, but uh, Bonnie has assured me, and she's spoken with our preschool teacher, Lauren, that they will have other activities for recess for them to but do. The, I mean, the sale can't happen unless there's a. The sale cannot happen until the zoning committee approves this. Um, and this subdivision, which is what is currently happening at right our now. town office right now. I We had our Rochester board meeting. I zipped up to there to see how things were going. Uh, there definitely is a lot of concern, um, you know, with the proximity that that line has come up to the edge of our uh, yep. concrete there. There was, there is talk about um, getting a, is it an easement or a variant? A variant? A variant. Is it for it put in the deed that the Rochester, well, the kids would be able to still, you know, uh, basically like walk across this area here and be able to be on this property. And uh, I asked about could we, if, if, if it's their property, is there any way we could install a fence, like even a real, uh, like a green fence, even like, you know, but I don't, I don't know if you could sell somebody a piece of property with this saying that we're going to use this area and put something on it. I, right. I just don't know if you no, use right it. Away. I mean, it's right of ways. I mean, I have right of ways in my living Sure. And all the right of way kids. Yeah, that's, like, that's, that's, that's a right of way. My uncle right has a right of way on my brother has it for 50 years uh -huh. that the water line can go through. Water that the water line. Yeah. So I guess if we it's, can. There's all kinds of things you can put in that as right. long, but you want to put it in before. And the planning, right. and the, the, the planning commission doesn't seem to be, they think this is a better answer, making it, keeping it the full half acre rather than saying the property gets a special variance where That's if we did a sane version of like what this lot might look right. like. I mean, it, did, did, any, did, did, did anyone get any figures that said if, if to make a reasonable lot that worked for both for both parties, it would be a third of an acre, 0.4? The, the, um, the potential acre? the people who are looking at purchasing it were expecting it to be 0.3 of an acre. Uh, but I, it's in the, the hands of the zoning committee right now. Uh, I spoke with um, Norm Smith about if we drop this line back 10 feet, even just 10 feet, how much would that change the acreage? And he off the top said it, he said it would be about approximately a tenth of an acre. So we would, if you could move this back, it would drop it to about 0.4 of an acre. Um, so that's the we are going forward with with the yeah. sale as as we um, acknowledged that we would do. We are. This is so where we're at with that. Sorry, how much? How much room does it leave it in front of the school? I mean, is it There's like a, a, a three, concrete. four feet? No, the no, I'm concrete. talking about in terms of walking up the side of the building. Oh. To get to the front entrance. I mean, is that on the grass? Yeah, sort of. The, because the, you wouldn't really walk on the, the grass here. You'd use this to access. Well, is this pavement? This is. This is pavement. So you come into the school. It, but it's just wow. It, it is it directly on. Uh, you yeah. know the puddle that all the kids jump in to go and get on the bus over <laughs> yeah. here. That would now be on the neighbor's property. Oh man. Oh no. We you're selling the puddle? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was okay with moving the greenhouse, but now you're selling the puddle. <laughs> the, uh, unfortunately. I, I know. 
Also, um, I don't get the kids right to save our. <laughs> also, there's a memorial tree that is now going to be going with the properties. Um, That's a shame. Uh, so that is the moment. What's the status? I mean, the memorial tree is it a recent thing? Is it is it a, is it a long time thing? No, it was um, it's a long time thing. It was uh. Is it an old tree? In other words, it is a. You have these big scoops now that can pick up a tree and move it. It is a. It's the. It's a flower and crab tree. It's so it's a short tree, but it, it's been there for, oh, you know, it's, it's short. It's not tall, but um, or a flowering cherry or something like you can that. Move those. Yeah, well, we might. I mean, it was a lot to move right now. Yeah. We'll have to see. It was planted for um, for a child who um, died of leukemia when she was nine, who was in school, and that was thirty years ago or something. Like that, so people, it's, it's it's definitely something that's remembered, but it's definitely something that's not fresh. Right. Exactly. Hey, Danny, yeah. could you show that sketch to the camera so that people? Do would you like me to walk it over there? No, I'm good. No, no. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I mean, one of the things to consider then is, you know, if that's how it has to be when you sell it, maybe we look at, you know, moving an entrance or changing, you know, changing something with the traffic flow of the building, because yeah, I mean, you know, having to walk down, yeah. Yeah. you know, the yeah. narrow side. So I mean, kind of snow. Yeah. So you would well, push the snow back over here, maybe. Oh, snow. that's the other, right. Where are you going to put the snow? Yeah, we would need to, they would have to, uh, right now, it goes, their yard. right? Snow removal would be a little. Mm -hmm. This is the door that has the, um, oh. uh, it's the locked door. It's got right. the uh, yeah. video yeah. entrance. We do, you know, there is one other door over here that goes into the gymnasium. Um, right. Right. But I mean, again, it's you know we, we may not, we may not, we, we may not fix it this year. Right. But that would be something that you would think want about. to. You, you, want to do it. What the perspective bonds? I, I don't know. I mean, I know the name. I, I have it in paperwork someplace. Um, they are somebody who uh, stated a local address on a, 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 a Granville or a Hancock so, address. I, I, Hancock 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 Hancock. Yeah. I do wonder about the idea of people um, with right-of-ways and things like that and these things. I mean, I'm not an expert by any means, but I think you can, once you've, once you've done the subdivision and you bought the property, it's your property, and if you want to give donate to the school such and such thing. I think that's perfectly legitimate. So if they want to give, yeah, that they right. so that it goes through on these conditions, the sale happens, and then with the agreement, right. maybe it's just a handshake, yeah, well, and then afterwards well, it would come back and you'd probably You'd probably want it to be, to, to, to be formalized, yeah. just, to, yeah. mm -hmm. just so that, but I mean, we do the, the I mean, they're part not of the, want, they're not gonna want to be at the property right Right, they're not gonna, and you know, it's really not necessarily these these people that are buying it right now, but we have to protect ourselves for going okay. all property transfers of this property in the future. Right, exactly. Well, exactly, because um, so that's what's happening with um, with that. We have to empty the contents. We have to empty the con right, empty the contents of it as well. Um, um, the Cubbies from the Hancock School when that was open. Oh, yeah, the little cubbies, yeah. Um, you know, little tables and chairs and stuff. And the, oh, God, it's just like one. I know. Sort of. um, so let's bring those back in here. <laughs> well, that's what we're going right? to I know. Yeah, Somebody said, so where are you going to put the stuff? I'm like, I think we'll find the room. Yeah, well, I think we'll find the room. This whole building becomes many stories. I thought about that. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, hell of an income provider. Um, <laughs> okay, so, um, <laughs> and we had talked about the, uh, I brought up the forest property a, uh, a little while back, yep. and of course we were right in the throes of a uh, budget, so um, the, uh, let me, maybe I should get my information out here again. The forest property, as we've talked about, is not, um, is not owned by the Rochester School. The forest property is actually, um, and I have the deed here if anybody wants to look at it, it is actually a trust that is being administered by the principal and the um, high school students. Mm -hmm. And if at any time the students or principal of said high school shall vote that they do not wish to have the use benefit control of said uh, real estate, the officers of said town school district shall come 
reconvey their interest in said land uh, to said town of Rochester. So, to go about trying to change the language of the trust to try to pull it into, uh, to change it, it'd be changing the language of the trust. Um, it has to go to probate court, and it has to, if, if it's not contested, it could be between three and $5,000. If it is contested, it could be between, um, uh, I don't know what the bottom number is, seven and $10,000. Right. Now, um, the uh, you know it is nice to have. It is kind of neat to have a piece of forest property, but um, realistically, with what we're um, what we're trying to do, I don't see it being real beneficial for our elementary school kids. If we're going to do a unit you know, on water ecology, our kids, you have a river right there. They're going to go to the river that they can walk to. They're not going to get on a bus and go out to Bingo. Uh, Isn't there trouble just busing there in terms of turning on the road? It's a narrow dirt road. Um, Very beautiful. Yeah. So I'll just say that. It is extraordinary. But it's not developed. It's also a much smaller river, so it's much more. It's much it is. Safer. It is. Safer. Like this yeah. is a very dangerous river right now. Yeah, kids are um, anyway, yeah. So if we went to probate, the person, the, 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 the group that would be opposing us would be the town of Rochester. Or anybody who. Um, wanted to do that on behalf of the town of Rochester. I, I mean, it, go, it seems like, I you know, it would, have to be, it would have to be somebody representing the students and the principal. No, it would, if, I'm sorry, if somebody was contesting it, is what you're saying, yeah. a, a, anybody could contest it. Right, but if they, they, they'd be contesting on behalf of the town of Rochester, because that's where it would go. They'd be, they would contest it uh, uh, probably uh, as the terms of the deed to stick to what this this person's original intent. Right, which, which but this is getting the town void. Right. The town wants it. It's going to be a principal, but it's not going to be any high school students. Right, right. therefore it goes back to the town right. automatically. Right. So we right. could do, could we just do nothing? Yeah, it was good. It, it is cleaner if the um, students and the principal vote to go back to the town, and that's um, I believe the direction that. That Sorry, it seems yeah. to be. Yeah, I mean, that seems yes, to be something we have to yeah. decide. Yeah. Right, yeah. No, no, I'm just order. trying no, to no, no. Uh, no, no, let I'm everybody know because. No, um, because the town wants to swap it with the Forest Service, because isn't there some Forest Service land in the town? I think it's really unknown. What back up. I, that was something that uh, we brought this up in the. Twelve. Well, that's significant. It is on. It's on a, um, a mostly a sloped area. Um, I mean, or, right. I, I mean, like I said, I think it's great. I think it's a really neat idea to own the forest property. I just, I don't see. If it. we had high school kids, it'd be like yeah. a cool thing, you know. Like, but you know, even middle school kids. But you're not. You can't even right. build anything on the property. It's the, in the deed. That if anything gets built on the property, it's a violation and it automatically goes back to the town. So it's not like we could build a little shelter to go out there and do mm -hmm. stuff with. And and I really, I think that we have such good national force around yeah. all of us that we can find some other places to go. Yeah, I think, I, I think, I mean, it, 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 what it'd be cool is, it'd be cool to say, you know, we'd give you that land if you could let us uh, have like a point three. Well, just give that land right up. Um, I'm not sure that that kind does, of horse trading. It does bring up the issue, and this is an unrelated thing, but I think it, it will come up eventually, is that um, we're going to lose the forest where Forest Friday currently happens. That's where the new septic field is going. Oh. And uh, I've been told by... Oh, um, septic Friday? I've, I've been... I've, yeah. <laughs> That's really awful. I haven't heard of that. Because <laughs> you were so happy with yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so the idea is, the idea is that you have to keep the existing... So this was told to me sort of confidence somewhat by by so an engineer <laughs> who's working... Well, I'd be curious if anybody steps up and knows more about it. Um, but the idea is that the they have to build a they have to keep the existing one working until the other one's going, and so basically it's right next to it, just north of it, which is where that whole area is. Um, so we are. I know I've, I've been talking with Amy about yeah, where where else we can do it because I mean it is now. I I would love to see it expanded and you know engaged down in, in Stockbridge too to find an area for it too because it's a great program. Right. It's just extraordinary to see what the kids do with that. But anyway, it's something that's going to change dramatically in our Well, let's let know about that as well. Because uh, the daughter going into kindergarten, I want to make sure she yeah, has yeah, space. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Forest Friday. So wait, so the, the forest space is going away when? 
Next uh, year? Five years? Soon. Soon. No, I think No, they're doing work on the septic this summer. Yeah, so it's going to start. Which is going to dig up our soccer field, portion of our soccer field. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to, and most of And it takes away the flower slants? Yeah, because they're going to basically dig that all up and put a new septic system in there. And then where was the, is the sept, existing sept, sept, yeah, septic system? Uh, I don't know what they'll do with it. I guess but the just, woods going down to the river, that whole area, they're going to clear that all out? Well, uh, I don't know all of it, but uh, certainly probably to that wash, you know, where that wash is that's, that's dug out there. I wonder if so she just the further system. into the woods. I don't know. I don't know the plans. Well, no. Where, <laughs> where it's now, yeah. it's no good? Is that it? it it's failed. It's, it's, it's end of life. Yeah, it's, it's end of life. Yeah. Okay. The septic on going to happen. That's that, well, I just for I've been working on the properties, and um, the town owns a portion of the soccer field uh, on that side of the elementary where this septic site three is. Mm -hmm. So, and the septic field we're putting in, or that's being put in to replace the failing one, is that sized for the for the the, the, the current student load that's going to be in there? Town oh, no. this, this is the town septic. This is okay. town septic. Okay. This is not. This is town town. This is not Rochester, not the school septic. Bars is in a different spot for the school, isn't it? Those are. So it's not the elementary. Correct. It's not the elementary septic. It is site three of the town septic. Okay. So we have three sites for the town, town septic. And they have to put it there, or it again? is there already. It okay. It'd be nice to. I mean, it'd be nice to know a little more about this. And I guess sure. What do you want to know? I have a call into Terry Severy right now. I told him I'm going to be at a meeting all night. Oh, so. Yeah. Um, I I just think we need to know. Uh, we should look, it'd be nice to see a map. Okay. Nice There's a map. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there. That is the back of the elementary school, as you can see. Um, this, and it, so you can see that this is the oh, soccer this field. Makes, oh, this makes it look like it's on the other side. Well, that's what I'm wondering. I think we need to confirm this, 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 this uh, Horse Friday thing. Because, no, no, no. Because, see, this is, right. They are going to have to come up into the soccer field here. But it might, I don't know, we need to confirm so this, what they're this doing. this is where it exists now, or this is where it's going? That is where it exists now. Yeah. That, and, and there is, and I, well, yeah, down there, there's, it, where the, I think where this is, there's um, fences around the equipment yeah. there or whatever. No, I've seen those, yeah. Um, so to paste that. So basically, if you want to So uh, that would be, I actually hadn't really heard a lot about the, the the repair that the town is doing, or what? I haven't either. I just so we should find out from the anti anti Antonio Sons was the one because since I'm going to be um, since I have a call into Terry Severy anyway, I will make sure to to get information about what the yeah, town is to, doing down there. Be nice to know exactly Indeed. where it's happening. Mm -hmm. okay. Bonnie, yeah. Bonnie, I wonder if Bonnie, Bonnie knows. But, but yeah, if we if we can reach out to Bonnie and. and Bruce, can we have Bonnie God, see what she knows? You know, see what she knows about this and when this this work is being done. Because I mean, if it's going to if it's going to change where they're holding Forest Fridays, that's kind of a, a, a sort of next year curricular shift. Yeah. That we really should be you know a little prepared for. Yeah, as and opposed it took to coming back in August and going. Yeah, because it took like a half a year, I think, to find where the clip for us, right? I mean, and it took a, quite a bit of work. I mean, I was with Ethan, you were there. I mean, there was a bunch of parents. We all went down and, yeah. Okay. Don't tell Sean we bring built the bridge. Okay. All right, so we need to, so um, we need, I'll talk to Terry about, Terry, about what the plans are for that septic and, dates. Uh, and plans and dates, dates, and then also to, um, confirm location. Yeah. Okay. It would be great if they put a stake with a, a tag on it so we could walk in and see yep. okay. exactly how much is going to be taken away. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Okay. Anything about Stockbridge? Do you want to tell anything? What's going on in your school board? We have, uh, you know, our, our, our interim principal has, start, has, has oh, uh, uh, started. See, that's he's, big. Uh, he's apparently uh, going gangbusters. No, he skis. Oh. So he only in rooms and he does it in mud season. Gotcha. So okay. he's, <laughs> he's found his niche. You know, he can he can the ski as a slow as Basically, mud welcome birds. welcome to, to, to Central Vermont. Wow. What is his name called? Donald uh, Schneider. Donald Schneider. Say it again. Schneider. Donald Schneider. 
I would love Christmas Day. Jewish. Um, very good. Well, that's, see? That's important to know. I'm very glad for you all that you have that. Yeah, it's, everyone's very positive, everyone. Yeah. That's great. It's been, very, I mean, it's been a week, but it's been <laughs> a week. No, no, hey, start. just go out, to go out with something easy down there yeah. would be really nice yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, and to get, and, and, and to, you know, to, 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 to stabilize things, yes. I think to yes. show, to, to, to remind parents of what, if, you know, when, when, you, when you've got a functional uh, school administration, what that community feels like, remind them what that says. Apparently, uh, uh, Janie was saying, well, Janie can say it or something, but he, he came to bingo. Oh. Yeah, oh, we nice. got bingo. Good the PTO did bingo Friday night, and he was there for a while to greet the parents. Excellent. Excellent. He's in the classrooms where he should be. Great. That's a wonderful. All school hike on Friday. Great. That is, <laughs> it's so nice to see yeah, him he's really, really, your kids. It really, really is. He's not in the office. That's great. So. Um, all right. So the main discussion item that we need to uh, kind of uh, uh, dig into is the um, uh, both the information we need for the informational meetings as well as uh, the information we need uh, to put in the booklet to send out. Um, Claire, I guess this is part of that. Um, my instinct with this was to jump to big numbers in the budget that people see. One of those being that $49,000 for maintenance, and Bonnie said she was going to have a breakdown for us. Um, does anybody know if she has a breakdown for us? I don't know. Okay. I talked to her today. But yeah, I, she, she I mentioned around it to me with her a little week. bit um, just the other just, day, and she pointed out, she goes, I don't know, Ethan wants a list, but you know, there's just so much. I don't know. And, I, I, and it doesn't matter. We, we just, just need, need an idea. To, exactly. You know, we need to. We, it, 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 all of this is about defending it. Right. We need to be able to stand behind it and say, "This is what this number is." Right. And not look like fools up there. I totally right. agree. Right. So, so the, well, the more detail we have, the right. more authentic our answer can There's be. There's a. I guess there, we just put brand new ceiling tiles in the hallway of the elementary, and one of the ceiling tiles you can see that there's a but there's a leak from the mm -hmm. roof. So one of the repairs is definitely to get up a patch. Whatever's just, happening on our brand new ceiling tiles. I mean, I, so. I and this was really my instinct as I looked through. I took yeah. a, a moment last week to just look through and see what's the kind of what are the kind of numbers that people are going to go and just jump at, and what are the kind of things we've been hearing about, and that those are the questions right. we should probably be answering. But then the other part of it would be, what do we want them to be thinking about? You know, what are the things we want them to be thinking about and give information there? But there's also the things that they're going to pick up. Um, right. I mean, the biggest one probably is going to be building. <laughs> the zone. Buildings. Yeah, right, definitely. Building. This, building the, usage. Using this zone is probably going to be the biggest single mm -hmm. issue I'd imagine for Stockbridge voters. But also for yeah. Rochester in a different way. Yes, yes, so. exactly. Both sides. So that might be and we had talked first, about first our first point that we right. grabbed what? the bull by the horns since Right. I think that you know, I I, I, I agree with you. I think Having um, a, 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 a forty thousand foot overview of the budget is 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 a block that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. um, that both, you know, and then besides talking about the big numbers, I also think it needs to talk about uh, you know the things that are positives. You yeah. know, that, that, that we're increasing this, Music. we're changing this. Music is full time. You know, we're 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 doing Council those sorts of things. Um, I think we need to. Uh, we, we definitely need to, to, to discuss the, 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 the building and our, our, our feelings about how that, you know, how that's being dealt with. I think that, um, you know, remind, I think one of the things we need to, you know, clarify and, and, and point out is that while, I think part of the narrative needs to be that while the previous, you know, administration had had said yes, everything could fit in the elementary building. The current principal is saying that let's take a, let's take a more measured approach and let's try let's. There's a language thing we have to be careful about too. Is to, to say principal as if it's a Rochester principal because neither of these principals are exclusively a principal for either. And I think that's right. a big change. That right, right, to, right. To tell people about that we're getting. Right, we're getting principles that are floating back and forth. Right, that's the last time I heard. Yeah, right, right. That's just right, and that's you know that's that's that's, 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 that's the administration that, model. Because I think there, I've certainly heard this very clearly. We heard it after that last Stockbridge meeting, 
that there was some bad feeling about Bonnie and Stockbridge because of that, you know, the, that yeah, one I questioned meeting, her too. That one meeting, um, uh, and that people felt she was, you know, sort of running the meeting and running the board, and and um, so I think we've got our work cut out for us there in terms of presenting this plan, and I think it should be to look at it as a plan of the dual dual principles. I think your your language should be, we're a unified district, we're working together, and this is a team of administrators. Right. The, that's what we're trying to do. We're yeah. trying to unify this team. school district and we're a team. Right. So no, what, what I was trying to say about the, the is, is one of the things I want to, I, I think it's important to point out because one of the things that I think had, you know, was, was a, 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 a big bone of contention at the last meeting was the, the particular point that, you know, there, there was a promise that a Rochester building was going to be closed right off the bat. There was a recommendation from the previous principal that a, a building could be closed right off the bat. And that was not backed up with any kind of, any kind of uh, analysis, drawing, plans. There was just, I think I can do this. And we said that's good because we don't need to necessarily operate two buildings. The current administration says, and again, I think it's important that we emphasize that while we are in charge, we're the people that make the decisions, we are not, you know, we are, we are not educators, and that the recommendation of the current principal is to, you know, close two thirds, you know, close the two largest zones of this building, but keep that one particular, you know, keep that one particular zone operating. To, uh, to house these services while we figure out how, if and how we can transition them into, in, 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 into, into a single space. And I think so along I think that same lines as we're talking about that, we need to um, actually set up a, um, a committee that is actually evaluating what we have and how the best way to yes. go forward is because we um, do it in a thoughtful, Way. I and think we, that's the biggest thing that we need to. Yeah, yeah. And we, the time has been so quickly that yeah. we haven't been able to. Do and we that. need. And we need to get uh, well, tell people that we need to get people to understand that we are thinking and trying to move forward. And we understand that promise that was made. We have to slowly work on how we're going to right. to fulfill that because right. we it would be irresponsible of us to just to just jump in and shut a building down all, right now. We just we have don't have the time. We haven't had the time to really evaluate this. I, I thought it was crucial last meeting that you two spoke up about this. Um, how uncomfortable it might have been for you in that moment, but I do feel like it's 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 an issue that is hard is different if we're speaking up and I'm thinking about it in the annual meeting. Obviously, the Rochester informational is probably mostly going to be Rochester. We're going to be talking to that crowd and their concerns. But that seemed very crucial to me, you two saying that, because that's certainly what Joanne left with. I mean, they're definitely still going to be oh, yeah, concern. Yeah, yeah. There's still right. going to be yeah. the question, and yeah. you know, with Rochester Elementary being twice the size. But I think the biggest thing, like you said, is really the time and being right. able to do it um, right. in the right, right way. Well, and, 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 and to also explain change. that it's it's not a question of if this is going to happen; it's a question of when this is going to happen. And if you, you know, if you take the cake out too early, it doesn't matter what the recipe was that you used. And I think, I think we need to validate their feelings yes. yep. and yeah. say that we get this and, get and we're going forward, but we're going to do it the right way. I mean, there's all sorts of space in that elementary school, but that's going to take time. Yeah. Whether we open those two small classrooms into one, whatever. Yeah, locker room too. I, I think right. we also need to structure this so that um, we always call it the glows before the grows. If we start out with what the conflicts are, yeah, 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 then, yeah, yeah. then when, by the time we get to the other things, it's going to be such a an acrimonious atmosphere that that won't happen. I think we should start with the positive things. And I think one of the positive things should be what we're gonna do with this building next year, the auditorium or whatever we do, make that a positive part. And then when we get to the building, get it straight on. 
Hit it straight on. And if we could have more numbers by that time, um, what, we have what does it mean if we keep this zone open, meaning. if we close these? Right, and I also want to talk about the, the meaning of closing a zone, too. I, I think at this point, we need to reduce the heat, reduce the lights, uh, but I don't feel that at this time we can actually shut everything off. No, we can't. No, because we can. That, we can't. That would the, be the, 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 you can't mean. Right. And I the, think that would the, be the, the fire extinguisher system in here has to stay. Right. I think they, they what was it, 55 is what, was what Bonnie, the number Bonnie kept saying. I, yeah, I there's still, really. right. I remember saying that it was actually made her a little nervous with a cold wall somewhere cold. Wall. Right. Well, that would be, I think, I think you would, my thought would be if there was a cold spot, you maybe have uh, some uh, a heat gun or I mean well, you don't know right but I mean that's that what I what I when I had problems with uh, doing doing uh, work like that in, in, in my building that's that that was the way that my contractor advocated solving it so I mean I think our maintenance people could could deal with some of the cold wall problem when the cold you know be prepared for it um, um, I'm just thinking in terms of time and place welcome all by the way um, uh, did you all come from the planning meeting? Yeah. What was the? No decision yet. No decision. Okay. Good. Not yet. Um, it does seem to me maybe we should brainstorm things that should be on the list first before we get into detail. What are the positive things? Well, and what yeah, let's go through what the positive. Well, and what are the, the, all the things that should be on there? So the yeah, that information sheet that was the the one that came out. I have it right here. Was really, you know, this one. It yes. really covered a lot of the green. Right, and that's, we would like to do that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I but think we, we need to, do. we'd have to kind of get it out like immediately if we're going to be we able really to do. So we sort of figure out who's on it. I wonder if that's even, well, we need to, be, that we should be. Besides the building, we do need to explain the new administration model. I think you're right about that. Yeah. The last thing I wanted to say about the building uh, piece was just, was that besides talking about this building, we also need to be talking about that we are looking at yeah. the space utilization and stock bridge. Right. And and you know if and how to expand that we've we've discarded for the for do we the, have the money for the sound panels? Yes, it's, in, it's, it's in, in the budget. It's in the budget. I couldn't remember. So the, you know that, I mean that's one of the positives we're doing. Yeah. But that the building committee committee is also looking at how best to use the space in Stockbridge, mm -hmm. and whether you know there needs to be some more spaces there. So there there's you know there's decisions that are being made about both things about both campuses, and it's about making the best for the kids. And that, again, we need to be. You know, we will be starting a building committee to go forward and really look, look right. at this. I think that's what we say about that. And, 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 and right, it's so looking at all the buildings. And I think we have and to look at the little details. I mean, for example, Casey's going to be, what did she get, 10 more days on the administrative right. assistant? Let's show the equity. Let's show how we're building up this. And Right. No, I, I, I completely agree. So, so what are the, sorry, maybe. I just want to say, um, I think, you know, we, we know what the Stockbridge concerns are. I think Rochester concerns are this building and it being mothballed and in terms of real estate integrity. Um, I just think that we have to be really conscious of both towns. Yeah, no, I, 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 I it's our asset too. It's, it's our that's, that, that's why I think it's important to, to explain that we're really, we're reducing heat, we're yeah. reducing light. We're not putting up plywood over windows or. I or, do think there's also been, um, I think we both different, but our towns each looked at that agreement and looked at what clothing meant a little differently. And I think that from the reactions I've seen in our crowd, our meetings from Rochester residents when you guys said that we were going to shut this whole building down. Um, I think a lot of people did not realize that, the, the, we, I think we were really thinking that the money that we were being saved was in the ending of our operation of our high school and our middle school. It wasn't necessarily really anything to do with the building budget. So I, I watched reactions in our crowd mm -hmm. and in reactions to people from Stockbridge making statements. And, I think we have a little bit of a, a gap of um, interpretation of that statement. Sure. So it we have to address. I'm I mean, address that. It's, it's definitely me. It's, it's official that we now, as a supervisor union, own three buildings. We school own district. Four, the school district. We own it's three buildings. Four. Well, four if you include Dandel and Acre. Um, uh, we own four buildings, and that that's what yeah. we're going into this meeting. I would love to include Dandelion Acres and all. <laughs> yeah. Um, that would be a great outcome. Uh, yeah, we just move it. Yeah. Just move it to stop. Um, I looked it up. 
about how much it costs to move a so house. Um, <laughs> what, what the, 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 last, the, the, the last big area I think we need to talk about, we, we briefly brought it up at the last meeting, I think, in the report. We need to be able curriculum. to talk about the curriculum and, and the curriculum changes that are happening and how that, that, that matches up to the survey results we had about what our Definitely. what our, our, our people, uh, you know, the, what our community and our, our parents want to see our kids being taught. I think we need to be able to, you know, talk about that. We need to be, be able to, and, and you know, talk about Forest Fridays moving, you know, or, or something similar being instituted in Stockbridge, if, if, you know, and things like that. This is One what the teachers so brainstormed. You guys have all seen this. This was the teacher brainstorm from that first we, we all had copies of it, but I just thought maybe this would be helpful as we're, like the curriculum, you know, as we're going forward to remember, these are some of the really important, exciting things that we get to do, possibilities we can do together. Could, could you review those so that um, I can read it? It's, um, so this was some teacher brainstorms, cooperative learning opportunities for the Stockbridge Central School and Rochester students. Uh, STEAM, STEM, sorry, STEM, S-T-E. But it's STEAM, 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 STEAM. STEAM. Yeah, I would prefer STEAM. I don't think it's okay. STEAM. okay, uh learning opportunities and STEAM sounds uh, means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And it, this was identified as an area to increase opportunities for our students based on the recent survey to Stockbridge and Rochester residents. This was when? This came out when? This was um this, 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 no. this document was no, this produced is when the teachers got together. Uh, September, October. Right. September, October of 2017. So the STEM learning opportunities, cooperative teams of K through sixth grade Stockbridge and Rochester students meet two times a month for an afternoon throughout the school year. Each school hosts once a month for a full afternoon. I never heard that one. <laughs> I, I just think it's really important that we take a variety of STEAM <laughs> challenges. <laughs> Um, we also have for the first time money in the budget coding, to go ecology. back and forth. Right, and I'm just, I just <laughs> wanted to just point out that this was stuff that the teachers had talked about, and maybe we can use some of this as jumping off points for when we're talking about <coughs> what the things, the, the positives that we we're going to be able to do together. Yeah, that's going to um, be a real job is to keep it positive. Will right. we'll, we'll, we'll input from that be included in the report? I'm hoping. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and what we're talking, what, what we're talking about, what we talked about at the last meeting, Frank, was the idea of um, looking at some of this and then revisiting the Stockbridge and the Rochester survey data when the communities were surveyed, and talk about you know the commonalities of what we want in our curriculum. We like we like wellness. We like out. We, we like an outdoor component. We like we have a big emphasis on STEM steam. Um, you know, so. Um, but but trying to to again you know report report that out and report you know report out how this is what we're trying to do it aligns with what our communities right. have asked us to do exactly you know because I think again you know it's it's important to to to, 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 to be responsive but I think that we got some good information from those surveys and it should be tied tied to the report. Okay. Okay. I think we should be a little vague on how often. I know we have oh, exactly. a special program. I didn't mean to put this out as no, like, here, this is what we said. I didn't know if this was going to be handed out or whatever. No, no, no. I just, it's just for, yeah. just to remind us. We've, we've all right. seen this before. Yeah. It was just more to, after we just went through that draining budget right. process to get back to some of the reasons that we but, but, but the, point is, the point is, there were surveys. They developed some valuable yep. ideas. And that we have resources to draw on in the development of ideas. Right. Are we thinking about doing something similar to this? Um, this was the merger. Um, uh, what does it mean? I, we, we were talking about trying to get something out. And would these would these would be the three the, topics? The report or at the meeting? I thought we said we wanted the, the handout out before the information. I, I know we right. talked about trying to get this handout out before the information. I'd like to, now I mean, our time frame is getting really short here. Right. May 1st. When do we send out the report again? The 12th. It, it, it has to be in their so hands by the 12th, right? In, no, it has to be in their hands by the, the meetings of 25th. It would have, or 22nd, 22nd rather. 22nd. It, would need to, it would need to be in their hands. It's 10 days. Yeah. So it would need to be well, in their hands. Well, the, uh, that, I guess that is subtraction. Because <laughs> I was thinking it was the 15th. Because I was doing, I was still going on the 25th. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so by yes. May 12th, it has to be in their hands. So I guess really it, it would be not enough time for us to try to put something like this together and get it mailed out 
prior to sending well, out that annual report. So maybe we should put, put it this in, as in the, the, end, this be beginning of the, of the annual report. report kind of thing. I think I think that's I think that's where it needs to I think that's where it needs to be done. I think, I think that's a great we also idea. need to think about how are we going to uh, uh, get this this wordsmithed. Oh. Because it um, needs to get you know this this I, I certainly am willing to uh, I'm I'm used to writing about budgets I can I can certainly uh, handle the, the the budget piece. Are you um, talking now? Are you looking more at the annual report? Are you going on well, to kind of or the was, information or the the actual wordsmithing this document? Well, I was talking about the I was talking about the, the I thought we just kind of agreed that we don't have time to do two mailings. Correct. So we're gonna do one annual report. That could we? I mean, could we save ourselves some time by just handing it out at the informational meeting? I think it would be it really beneficial for before. people to have this, yeah. especially um, as they're before the informational. Yeah, meeting? you want them. Yes, because they're gonna have the budget, and so that for them to open the budget, and start looking at that budget, and then be able to have maybe something like this that kind of decodes what do, what they're looking right. at. What do these numbers really mean? Right. Because right. so otherwise, they're not gonna the be listening to us. Right. right. Right, or have it, we could either stick it in the book or we could actually get it it's printed. Gonna, yeah. No. Yeah, I think it needs to, I think we just, I think, you know. I think you're going to get more readership if it's not attached to the book. But I know that makes things more complicated, but I just feel like putting it in the book, I mean, you know, I look at the book, but I look at, you know, I look at what I want to look at. And if it's a why, why not do both? <laughs> why not have it included in the, the book you were sending out and have it available also at the meeting? Oh well, yeah, we could have it at the meeting. I guess that the the idea was to um, to get out ahead of the meeting where pe when people right. are looking at the budget and trying to understand um, just what, trying, what it what it all what the assumptions are. You know, this this um, thing that we sent out was on um, what does the merger mean for our town? Right. So I think it was something like what does this budget mean for our school? Yeah. Right. No, that's and that, I, I agree. I think that's. That's the whole, you know, the 40,000 foot, here's the big numbers, you know, this is what this number means. This is, you know, it, the, the repair number is high and it's high because of this, you know, where it's a kind of a question and answer that steps through, I think, the, you know, first the positives of the budget, where, you know, it says it's going to, you know, you're going to be increasing uh, music to this and you're going to be consolidating um, guidance right. into, into into one unified unified model. It's answering everybody's questions that we've already had that right. we know everybody else still is going to have. But let's get it out there with the budget, so they don't have to wait to the meeting to come and ask. No, they shouldn't have to right. know. And, right, and, and, and I, I, I would be willing to I would be willing to take a crack at writing that piece. What's our what's our one sen sentence pitch? Why they why we want this? Because it's the best thing for our kids and our teachers. Because it will improve the curriculum. It will improve student achievement. It will it will certainly enhance um, the, the social aspect and emotional aspect of our children being with more kids. Um, and I think for teachers, the research is clear. Collaboration. Now they have somebody else on their grade level. They have other right. people Here's a word can, can, can talk to. So I think that's pretty good. Sure, Did somebody that's just record what she said? That was very, very that was good. Perfect. Jasmine, yeah. you'll be coming back to you for that. <laughs> no, can we get out? No, that was, that's exactly what I want. I want I want to be able to, you know. Sure. And that's, 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 the, that's the preamble to this thing. But, but the bumper sticker is this proposal gives us more for less. More for less. Oh, maybe that's yeah, that's more for us. Sure, because we are we're paying less, and we're getting more. And we are getting, getting more. I think. Oh, definitely. Yes. It, I mean, again, it's not a question of if; and it's so a question of when. Th what this does, I think, though, is frames it for us nicely. Is it's sort of like you put this first, and then you put your part, and then it's like, okay, what are the bullet points? Bam, 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 that support that statement you just made. And that's our that's our beginning of this of this informational sheet. Right. Then we can go down, and then we can say, then we can have the individual questions. Well, what about blah blah blah? And what about blah blah blah? But the, I think right. this goes back to pitching positive. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. Pitching idea. positive sure. first is that we really we hit Frank's and then we hit yours, and then we have the bullet points that we think you know full time music, um, full better, more guidance, more. I don't know, these are the things that you're coming to. Why don't Why don't we each send to each other the positive things that we think should be listed 
and sure. and also those things that we know our community. The questions. questions. To be we did this for that. I remember we did this. We talked about this when I came to the meeting. They were sort of asking for what are some good questions right. that should be on this questionnaire, and I think that's great if we all put out a good. So sure. positive points that we want to include first, mm -hmm. and then what what are those things that we know the community is going to want answers to? Frank, what was yours again? We, we get more for less. More for less. Right. We need to end. I'm going to try to write a draft of, of a bunch of this tomorrow. But, but yeah. we sent out two frequently asked question sheets. Can, can we draw on those? Uh, yeah. Right. So the questions have shifted a little bit now that well, Right. Well, but we should review yeah. what we set in um, right, that frequently asked questions. That's what I was referring yeah. to. Sure. Can you resend that, Amy? Do you have that in a. Um, yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I have it in an email. I think it got sent. sent yeah, let's see. Um, I may even have it here. Jenny did. Yeah. This was what yeah, Jenny did, and I've then we like copied Jenny's because she did such a good job. That was really. Good. I remember actually. Um, I think people said it made a big difference. I think you put them together. Right. And yeah. Um, so I think I have copies of it. I I would have to search for it on the computer, but I I can if you want me to. Oh, yeah, that would be a lot smarter, wouldn't it? Okay, so I will scan this in and, and send it to, or around to everybody. Do you want me to um, send, might as well send the, the stock for sure yeah, as well. Okay, I'll scan those two in and send them around. Um, okay. And, and, you know, the, the point of this was to, to answer what frequently asked. So we, when do you, should we have them, everybody's responses by Friday? Is that... Yeah. Yep. Today's Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Today's Tuesday. So by, Friday, by Thursday or Friday, would be great. Yeah. Let me just take a look Four. at the calendar so we understand what we're looking at. Um, yeah. By Friday, it needs to be put together. Um, are we including it in the book? Yeah. Okay. And we need to get the book over to print. I would say by Tuesday. I would think. I'd no, like to, week. It'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be nice to drop it off on Monday. Oh, yeah, so Tuesday at the latest because the 12th is on the uh, Saturday, so that gives a couple days to get it back. Right. Okay, so everybody get right on Does it. Anyone, uh, has anyone, uh, I have not reached out to Spalding, does anyone know what their workload is like next week? I think you should call them and tell yeah. them this yeah. is coming. Right. That's true. No, no, they, I, I already gave Penny uh, Griffin a heads up that it would be coming. Yeah. Frank has been really on top Yeah, and I have sure. information, and that is a agenda item. Uh, but again, you don't need to drop it off. If, if you can, yeah, I email you, you can put it into PDF files. Yeah, you just I can email. absolutely PDF it. Yeah. You can actually, take, they'll take over. Uh, 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 yeah. She'll love it. <laughs> okay, well, can we all, how about we all try to, because uh, you're going to. Who are we sending it to? Yeah. Uh, let's let's send it to each other. Well, well who's yeah. putting it together? I can uh, take lead on that. Okay. Um, the biggest part, the biggest thing that I would have, so I, I, the, 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 the biggest thing that we've talked about that I feel least confident about writing is the, is a, is a, around the survey results. Cause I can do that. If you could, if that'd be okay. great, you know, and, and, and tie that to. to so if to you have the bullet points for the positive stuff, you can do that. I shouldn't say yep. that. Way. Okay, great. I think that we should probably aim to get this to him by Thursday, so that maybe he can work it up. Oh, sure. Friday. Okay. I mean, and then send it back out to us over sure. the weekend Very to, to yeah. take a look at it. Yeah. Over yep. the weekend to then um, get it back. That's the contact information. Okay, that's great. For my for to for our thing on my desk. Yep. Now, in the past, at least with Stockbridge, we've sort of let Spalding tell us which cover stock they have that they have, um, you know, extra of because they always seem to be like, well, if you use this color, it'd be cheaper. We got lots of that line. You mean are you talking about like this? Yeah. Yeah. I oh. mean, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to have. I'm, I'm thinking that we're going to have that same sort of, same sort of uh, uh, booklet, the same kind of thing, and just yeah. is mm -hmm. that what everyone's expecting? That's mm -hmm. what. Yeah. Earlier this year, I sent you guys an email with questions I had that I didn't have answers for. Mm -hmm. But like, what is the? I mean, I just ran through it, but. Like, um, like, what's the address of the Rochester Stockton Unified School District? I mean, it's just a great question. question. No, Frank, if you could send those questions, that would be great. Cause no, we I did. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. I can resend it if you want. Right. Um, we're, we're, we're going to obviously be using um, 
we'll have to we'll have to split the print run to, to use the two different either or do stickers to do the uh, well we are, are we moving on to talking about the book now no, sure we can we it's can already written it. so you might just as well <laughs> okay um yeah we had talked about that uh we are going to need to do two separate it, it was much easier for rochester for the 800 that we need to send out to just print this and then our postal code so we're going to need to print a, a separate back for Stockbridge anyway with Stockbridge's postal code. And then so you can decide if you want to attach labels or if you want to do, because I've noticed a lot of your stuff has labels attached. Right, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's often the way Kathy, Kathy does it, gives us is, is, okay. a set of labels. So I would say that would, that would be something that would be right. up to you. Right, right. Once well, I would say, if I, I'll, we, I'll, I'll ask Penny if it's going to be cheaper to print, to, to, to split the print run and do so many with, with your code and so many with our code, mm -hmm. or to do one that has no codes on there and just putting a sticker that, that on, on some that has the Rochester and some that has the, the uh, uh, stock. I think no, your postal code is what you need for running right. through for the postage. Right, and right, I don't, right. I mean, for them to do 400 um, covers, I, you know, we're going to need them to separate the print run anyway because we don't have a budget yet. We're, so it has to be. It has to be. Take this out of the current budget. Um, right. That's what that. So we're going to. So it, it'll be the same information for them. So it's not. I don't feel it's going to be a problem. Is, is currently enough money now in the Rochester permit to do the mail? I mean, I think I made that clear in the email I sent. Yep. Right. Right. Um. Well, we still to print the book. But we're still going to need to do two. Well, I mean, months, printing so. the book is another budget, okay. but, but once right. the book is printed, we and we can we can we can quite possibly because we've got you know the again hopefully at the next SU meeting we'll have gotten the the SU board will have gotten the questions they wanted answered about where that merger fund is, but there's you know there, there certainly is going to be enough money in that fund that our share will cover you know the handling the handling the printing. But but in terms yeah. of I mean the. The printing itself, that's just an invoice that gets sent somewhere. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's my, I don't know where the somewhere is. To but, the but, Stockbridge but, um, school, to wherever they get any of the rest, other yeah. stuff sent but, to. But, but it, you have a certain number of books that are printed. Right. And, and they'll need to come up with the amount that you'll from right. that. But they need, they, need an, they need an address to send the invoice to. Okay. But in terms of okay. sending so the book out. Two separate invoices? Is that the right. thing? We'll have, that's Rochester and one's going to Stockbridge. Right. Right. Is that right. the way it's going to be? Or is that just I think the way it should be. No, that's just this year. Yeah, just for this year. Once, oh, next year we'll, yeah. we're going to have a budget. It's, really, it's in our right. budget that we have printing costs so they can just write the check. So, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very nuts and bolts. So you're going to have two separate mailings mm -hmm. that are going on? Well, Correct. I mean, we have to because we have two separate we have two separate uh, postal codes. They're going to be identical, but there will be two separate covers, two separate mailings. Right. That's correct. And the one will the one will have the Stockbridge code, and it will probably say Rochester Stockbridge Unified District, mm -hmm. Stockbridge Campus, and put Stockbridge's address mm -hmm. on it. And this one will say Rochester Stockbridge Unified District, Rochester Campus, and put Rochester's address on it. Right. Different right. schools in front. Oh, but that's yes, so good. That was that awesome. Awesome. Talked about well, there's enough money in the, the best thing. For there's enough money in the stock for the permit to do the mailing. I'm sure there is. If not, if there's not, we'll put a check in. <laughs> All right, but there is enough money to do the broadcast yeah. mailing. In terms of numbers, I suggest six seventy is the number. I mean, we're six seventy. I thought you told me eight hundred last time we talked. Six seventy. No. And that will cover any any needed for the meeting and everything. But are we going to put labels on it, or it's simply current resident? Current resident. I, th I think what will happen is that if you put current resident with, there there will be some people who get who get the booklet at the post office who decide this is not of terribly much interest to me, right? That I I mean that I mean if if you want to be really safe, you go to seven hundred. Rochester. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. I had written down from our last conversation 800. So you know, we probably better be you're thinking about registered 670. voters. Okay. You know, you need to. <coughs> what you mean? 670 was out. Registered oh. voters. To put to put labels on every one of them, the number came out as 652. But I but I think. Oh, okay. But I think if it's just current. I thought it was 750. But no, but I think but I think if it's if the. I'm sure we can. Okay. But, but I, I think what you want to do is 
go for six, seven, and assume that some people will be not using it and drop it off at the post office so they'll have extras that way. Okay, thank you. But, it's, but if you want to make sure that you have enough books for the for the meeting, you might simply want to put down 700 for Rochester. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. All right. And so um, you're, um, you're getting together the picture for the front, and we'll have to come up with the wording for, uh, it'll just be, um, you know, Rochester slash Stockbridge School, Unified School District Annual. Annual report and proposed, and proposed budget. Yep. Uh, and then this will show where the district Correct. meeting is. And then we'll have the warning on the inside. Correct. Uh, we will uh, not There'll be no minutes. have minutes from the previous Correct. meeting. Uh, the, um, you're you're going to um, do a uh, school board of directors report. Sure. Okay. Uh, then supervisors, the um, superintendent's report was printed already in both of our reports that were sent out. So say what's good. Don't need it. Okay. Uh, principal report. Uh, no, so we, no, we, 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 we a, got one in the one that we sent out earlier yeah, this year. Yeah. Um, same, probably like the one planet. I think we can leave. We can skip that. Yeah. RTCC. Uh, yeah. And then, so we don't need the Windsor Northwest Supervisory Union no. budget because you guys included that as Where's, well. Where are our questions going? Or where's our, I would our handout going in this? I would think it would go right in the front. Yeah. I think it would be I first think page. It, I think I it has that. to be second. Does the warning? The warning, the warning has to be first, and then, but it, you know, second. right, right, right there. And what's our big bold title that we call it? What are we calling it? We're we calling it the uh, reasons you should vote for this. Um, <laughs> there's <laughs> points to consider. Points to consider. But if you want a table of contents on the inside cover. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, but I do think, you know, what its headline is, because if there was just one little thing about this, is that it didn't have a, a, a title that really, you know, the questions were great, and most people wanted to read it, but I don't think it hurts to have a nice big title. I understand what yeah. could be used. Should we all, should that be part of what we try to sure. send to Carl? I mean, unless we title, can, suggest a title. Suggest a title. Okay. Um, and in order, as a marketing point, you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I'm all about that. About all things considered. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> NPR. Because no, then there'll be a big uh, NPR's elitist. Yeah. You know, and, uh, <laughs> APR. Okay. I know we don't have time to change anything, but all along we kept saying that we need to know the total number, and then between then and the next couple of weeks we can tweak things. Is there anything that we need want to, to change it? before Good. Monday? Like, like we have, we have more information about. Right. Do we have any more information? Well, well um, I don't know. That's what I mean. Like, the, like okay, some no. of the things Bonnie was supposed to be getting back to us about. I mean, I'm a little disappointed that there isn't a handout for forty-nine thousand dollars. You know, I mean, that's a, it's it's one of the significant uh, out of tuition, out of you know teacher salaries. It's one of the biggest numbers in there, and it's a, it directly relates to the building issue. And I yeah. just think forty-nine thousand. She said, well, you know, we had a plumber here for the day. It was fifteen hundred dollars. It's a lot. It goes fast. And I'm like, that's still not. We have to stand up there and support it. Right. So right. We need that. We, we really need that. And I. I can I call her? Do I have the authority to call her and say I need that by Friday? You know, I need let's that. let's 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 try to put that in a list to her as an email. Okay. And get that to her. Is there anything May else? She get the thing you were going to ask about was the septic system project. And, the septic and system. How does that impact knows. our property? I also um, I had heard that the, uh, I thought I understood that the, an engineer was getting scheduled. Right. I don't know. That, I'm hoping so. And that's I some proof that it wasn't right. just a plum, plumber. Mm -hmm. And where is that? Is that some report right. on that? Right, so, and I think that's going to be important. So we have, so we have, we have, um, what's our list? It's, uh, right, well, then let's, 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 let's <laughs> I, I'm not sure that we would have, if she got, if the engineer is not already booked to be yeah, here yeah. the next day or two. No, 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 it's not going to be, it's, it's, it's not going to make the book, but what I think what we need to be, what we need to be saying, and again, that gets back to that business, the, the, that building piece is saying, that we need, we were having an engineer coming into a site evaluation. We're having. We need to be able to say yes, this is happening, and right. yes, that's happening. Right. If there hasn't been an appointment, when is there? Right. It, even if it's an appointment that we can tell them about, right. that exactly. Right. That's that's part of this whole thing. Or these are the things that are going to happen before the end of this school year. Yes. To, yes, to, yes. To, to, to do 
do work on these particular projects over the summer. You know, for example, we don't, you know, we need to get someone to build a, like a similar door like that is, if, if they're going to close off that zone yeah, yeah. where the, 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 the room is, there's no door there. So you, you say, okay, we're turning off the heat down in that, in whatever that zone two yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. There's no, there, there, there's no way to separate the, the hallway that, you know, where's that going to get paid for? Well, we, we, uh, we certainly have, um, money. I mean, again, you could use the money from the murder support grant. You're, you're using it to, uh, help segregate and separate the buildings. Do we have any idea? I mean, because I've read the minutes of that meeting, and it didn't sound like it was going to get decided anytime soon. Right? It should be decided at the next meeting. Really? I really, I mean, the questions were, the, the, the biggest hang-ups in the conversation were, um, the, not that David did not have a, a, a clear document for us of what had been paid, uh -huh. what hasn't been paid, you know, um, what, there, there was some concern that maybe some stuff that could have been reimbursed for Chelsea and Tunbridge wasn't because there wasn't an idea of how much money there was at the time. But we're supposed to get what, what David was charged with bringing to the next uh, SU meeting was a, you know, here really is, you know, here's the hundred thousand dollar or hundred and fifty, and here's what's been come out of it. Here's what uh, is is it, it is left, and you know. I, I, the, the general feeling seemed to be, I mean, there was some pushback from uh, the, uh, a Tumbridge representative around, you know, saying it should be by town. It shouldn't be by necessarily student count, you know, because every town's got problems. Maybe we should just split it up evenly. If that happens, we're in better shape than it would be if it was by enrollment. Mm -hmm. But the general feeling seemed to be, and correct me if I'm wrong, Bruce, but the idea that's, that enrollment seemed to be the, the, the fair measure of... Well, most, of most money. everybody around the table wanted enrollment, but this kind of last gasp of <laughs> we ought to just split it down the middle and everybody got to get a share. Of course, people like Royalton and, and Bethel were popping up saying, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Well, it's kind of like yeah. House um, of Representatives versus the Senate, you know, and now that's all going to go. Right. So, but I mean, I think that Bonnie's number so I can text her. Actually. So, do we know the things that we're going to ask Bonnie to get? Well, I was just making a list. As you said, the maintenance number, budget, um, the engineer building schedule, um, the wanna... septic system. Um, though you're going to get some information, Terry. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, do we want to put, have from... Ethan uh, go forward with trying to get this information from Bonnie? From Bonnie. Sure. Sure. Be so great. Just try to disseminate out. Um, yeah. So anything else that anybody... Um, Wasn't there one other thing we wanted from Bonnie? Was it the same thing? <coughs> what would, the, oh, you have the 49,000. That's, right. that's here. Yeah, the repair, the maintenance, septic. maintenance, number, budget, uh, itemization. Engineer report if she has... Engineer report or schedule. Or so schedule, schedule appointment, right. Yeah. So right. Because when, I think that's one of the things that's important for us because we won't have an individual meeting before the annual meeting is, um, except we'll just have the informational meeting is uh, sort of how we're going to handle things and who, if there's a lead speaker on different issues and things like that, I think is very useful because the more we look <coughs> put together, obviously the more put together we are, the more we know, the better it looks to people and right. the less we're fumbling for uh, yeah, no, I think we're somewhere, you know, it's like, right. you know. I we, also thought there was supposed to be, I remember reading in the minutes, somebody coming over vacation. Right. Yeah. So we don't know what happened. Oh, that's right. He was going to do. I was checking the ethanol and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. So we don't and know the, that report. So that's yep, another yep, thing. Yep, yep. Right. So the the heating. Some so heating to be upgrade here. or heating maintenance, mm -hmm. heating upgrade mm -hmm. Right. Will, will Bonnie be at the informational meeting and the? Oh, mm -hmm. and I, the I, I I would hope so. Yes. Well, that's that's my question. Yeah. yeah. What's mean? I have it on my calendar at home. What's the Stockbridge informational meeting? The 15th? 15th. That's not, that, that's, that's not on our schedule. We need to... Uh, yeah, because I noticed it wasn't on the warning here. Yes. I think something we need to put in our um, booklet is, you know, we, we're talking about the $40,000, um, changes to how we're running our school. I think that we also have to note that in our proposal we were dedicated to doing things at a pace, you know, so that was comfortable for everybody. Terms of right. buildings and 
So I just right. want to make sure that that no, that, 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 that we definitely there we needed. In the proposal. We are moving forward in a deliberate and measured fashion. Exactly, like we said in our proposal that we all vote on. So yes, absolutely. And um, so, okay. Um, the last uh, there, there's there's a. Just say, if anybody thinks of anything else to go to Bonnie, just send me an email and I'll put it up. And I'll put out an email to her. Probably and then tonight. everything else, the title, the positive, and the questions need to be. That's said to me. Thursday. Thursday. We said Thursday night. Thursday yeah, Thursday. that's fine. Yeah. I just said the earlier possible, yeah, yeah, I think, because yeah. then you can get it back. We right. can work on it, and then we have it over the weekend to, yep. to tweak it and, yeah. and, yep. and get it out. Um, what is the rule about all of us replying all? emails and talking to each other yeah, that, you, that's really you can't, can't do that. yeah, that's right you can't. yeah we can't so can we can it be information I mean just like this number is blah and send it out to everybody or like with Bonnie's answers can I send that out to everybody yes you can you can distribute you can distribute it you can distribute information, distribute information. Just don't is reply it, all to is it. it is it opinions that it's are just not a conversation you want oh, okay. that's it. right you can say you know and, and especially because We've just said in open meeting that we're tasking you with reaching out to Bonnie, and so you, you know, you 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 could reply and say, I, you know, reaching out to Bonnie, I've learned A, B, C, and D. Because I we know just can't, we can't. I we know can't we say, have discussed things since we've been formed. We have there have been discussions, but right, and we've we've had like there's been conversations that like Jenny, I, and and, and Amy have had, or you know, where I've sent a message just CC and the two of them. To talk about finance stuff, we're going we're back so, yeah, yeah. yeah, gotcha. Okay. So, so that that piece of it, but I think you you can report out. You know, here here's the results of that conversation. Well, we can't just, well, we can't come back and say, no, tell Bonnie to do this, and then start telling you know yeah. that it, it's those reply bits that are that are that are the the open meeting no-nos. Right. You can't decide to take action. You can't make a decision. Right. Right. Can't take your vote. But isn't it the, the quorum of you? Would it have to be four of you? Yes. Right. Four is a problem. So it's when you're talking to everybody, you can't take action or make a decision. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. But he, he can he can report two, out. Two, two of you can talk all day long. Right? Absolutely. Right. So you send stuff out, and then like I can talk back and forth with you. Right. But you I, can reply I can't eventually. reply to all yes. to everybody yeah. telling. Yes, that's, yeah. that's, that's right. a good point to right. clarify. Because you're six. It has right. to be at least four. Four. Right. right. So we can we can reply our thoughts individually to you. Um, same with drafts to me. Um, but again and again, it's you know correcting a, a, a correcting a, a, a report isn't making you know, isn't making a policy decision. So it's I mean there there, there is a level of information that can that can be exchanged. Um, Ethan, at one point you mentioned that your wife does um, ed, uh, proofreading? Yeah, mm -hmm. not this week. Not this week. <laughs> uh, okay. She has a huge... We have, uh, uh, actually, actually, actually on, my, on my way into yeah. the Stockbridge meeting, um, uh, Frank offered to, uh, to to take a pass at proof, proofreading, so yeah. we can uh, we, we have that resource. And Thank if, you. If anyone can think of anyone other else... Times, other times too. she would love to. It's her passion. Uh, it's another it's thing. Crunch time. Oh, yeah, it's very, very much okay. passion. It's cool. A passion for proofreading. <laughs> I, I, I actually very much want to meet friends in the family. My mother-in-law, you know, there are all these people who work at ITI. They have passion. Yeah, you've got a whole time proofreaders up there. Yeah, you know? really yeah. do. Yeah. 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 Erica yeah. 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 Robinson was yeah. leaving town. No, she will take it on. She will take it on herself. She will take it on herself. Okay, so I think I think we have a plan moving forward on our on our next next steps with the booklet. Um, the last thing we need to talk about is we need to, um, we have, what did you say, Bruce, 18 or so? Uh, you have 11 right now. 11. Candidates. 11, uh, we have 11 candidates for the uh, uh, principal position. Uh, does the, does the, that sound uh, good? Yeah, it's only been out a couple weeks, so yeah. But what we need to do, what we need to do is we need to uh, figure out um, principal search uh, the, 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 the the principal search committee, committee and uh, a time mm -hmm. for them to meet and some some uh, a, a time frame a window to, to start the the interview process. So it needs to be a combined committee for both towns, not just one. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. and I think the first thing you ought to do is I I think we need to keep it not gigantic like. Uh, I would say Could the Ed Committee do it? Would that be something that would interest them? Six to eight, maybe, uh, something like that. 
right? And it's it doesn't have to be maybe it doesn't have to be all a bunch of board members. It could it be just be one or no, two. No, it should It'll be, be a some some teachers and some community members. Right. So, yeah. so it could just be parents, one or two no, board teachers. members. So we have parents, teachers, uh, a community member, and a school board member. Yeah. Bruce, how many positions? Eight. Um, no, no. How many? How many uh, applicants? Uh, no. Just one. Is, it, is there is there a principal position in Rochester and Stockbridge or Stockbridge? Well, there's 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 there are two principals in the Rochester Stockbridge Unified District. Right. Um, Bonnie awesome. is 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 going to be. I mean, right now there's there's two. Yeah. There's um, uh, Mr. Schneider and uh, and Bonnie. Yeah. Um, I believe it's well, they, 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 no, he's only been on board a couple days. So. Come on. Oh, come on. Um, uh, as, as, as we said earlier, Mr. Schneider, uh, with his skiing, only yeah. only did works as an interim during one season, so he will he will not be continuing. Um, and Bonnie oh, will continue cool. for for uh, at least another year. So the, the the position would be. I mean, the, the the model is going to be the principals are going to rotate between campuses. Yeah. All right. And and so we're uh, filling the other position. We're filling the Stockbridge right. campus. Um, do we do we need to, do we have a letter of confirmation from Bonnie, or do we have a letter of agreement, or is there a contract? Or uh, it's all oral right now. She's just told me verbally that she was wants to do this, and that hasn't changed. Okay. So um, I have asked to get contracts out to people. Because uh, I remember one time we talked to was it about three three music teacher. I know this is sort of jumping subjects a little bit. But that the agreements had to be gone out and we weren't sure if they Letters of intent. Letters of intent. And they did go out. But it, could I get an out. answer to my question now? Sorry. Uh, the administration, can you explain it to me how it's going to work? Um, yeah. Sure. There's going to be, uh, there's going to be two uh, uh, full-time full -time, uh, uh, principals, and they're going to uh, uh, move between the campuses. One will be here three days and, and the other uh, side two days. The other will be there three days and the other side uh, uh, two days. The idea is to uh, try to, um, you know, get 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 the, 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 the you know the children seeing different points of view, get getting the you know getting away from the idea of an administration in a silo. Um, what we're hoping, and it'll it'll depend on the strengths uh, of the candidate uh, that we end up with, is that. You know, maybe we can maybe we can try to assign some duties functionally rather than rather than locationally. Yeah. In other words, if, if we find a candidate that's that's very strong with uh, uh, a, a curriculum yeah. or, or staff, you know, a staff review and evaluation yeah. rather than rather than. I mean, first of all, equity. If if, I, if I'm a stern grader and you're a and you're a soft grader, you know, having you evaluate, you know, a, a teacher that's under my purview is going to get a different kind of evaluation from my stern, yeah. you know. Um, Sort of, sort of issue. So it's 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 something we've talked about. Is the idea that maybe we would have someone, for example, doing all the the, the 504 evaluations and all that sort of sort of work, rather than having it done individually in each in, in each building. We're trying. Right, and, that, to, and that's okay with the that's okay with the association, I guess, as long as you designate who the evaluator will be. Correct. Okay. Well, they're going to work have as a team. I think. So. I don't want to. Or is, do you even know? What's that? Are other merged school districts doing the same? Yes. Um, in in um, Bethel and Royalton, they're going to share, the two elementary schools are going to share two people. Okay. And uh, they're going to go back and forth. And, and uh, I think it, what we're trying to accomplish is that them working as a team to get everything done that needs to be done. And Carl started hitting on some of the things, you know, evaluation. Supervision and how? And I mean, how much? Budget, budget. How much should we be worrying about how this works, or do we let them figure it out? Well, I mean, part of part of the reason that this is important to do it this way is that Bonnie, who's got thousands of years of experience, I would say that if she was here, yes, actually, thank but, you. Um, is probably going to be able to to mentor whoever that other person is. And that'll be a lot of, about the growth that, that takes place uh, with it. I, I don't I don't have any uh, concerns about, it, it, about it does, that. It, it does seem to know. I mean, obviously, we know one of the quantities that we have. The other 
every person has to fit in with that. So knowing more about what Bonnie, seems like Bonnie has to be part of this process she, a little she bit. She does, and I would yeah. absolutely. And so how that, how that happens, because obviously we're, we're not looking for just a great principal, we're looking for a great principal that complements that complements Bonnie. Yeah, no, it, 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 exactly. And I think, and so I think, and 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 having some idea of how Bonnie thinks this arrangement should work Absolutely. would be really useful for us when we go sure. over the search. Well, I think, I that, think uh, that's yeah, critical, actually, yeah. because I know. Uh, I think Right. Well, that's and, and mentoring should be on site, so there might be a time when, for example, they need to be together at one school, yeah, not yeah. one or the other. Right. So, so, so really to say that it's three days here and, four, and two days there right. isn't really correct. It's they are going to work together collaboratively right. between the two campuses. Right. Yeah, I think, right. and, and, and that's, that's a much, I think, I think it sounds it's, better. I think yeah. it does sound better. In other words, it's like, well, I want more of this or that. It's, it's it's like no, they're gonna together. They're going to be and based on the needs, yeah. they're right. going to one school right. or the other. Right, and I, and I think you know, I, and I think it's important that as we put together the, the 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 search committee for you know for this, that those are the kinds of things that that you know are, are thought about in terms of forming the questions that are going to be asked of the candidates. Um, you know, looking at looking at you know <laughs> sitting down, I think, and looking at you know coming up with. What are the things you're looking for? The resumes and things. Whoever's, whoever's, you know, do we have on that. Do we have a timeline? Yeah. What are, What are next steps now? Because you yeah. said we need we to need get to on. We need to find out who's going to be on this committee, and then we need to you. like how soon? Like soon. within a week no. or soon. <laughs> soon? I mean, I would like to see this concluded by the first of June. Yeah. I mean, that's the search. The search. The yeah. search. We, okay. we will, I want so to have a volunteer from this board to be on the search committee. Oh, I will. Yeah. Oh, I we'll have to. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I will. Oh, oh yes. I mean, you know, you you have to have send your question. Send your question. This is our concepting room. How do you see yourself getting into this? I think, right, exactly. So, Jenny, you and I will, and we would like to enlist community members. <laughs> but I think let's, let's reach out. To I'm looking out to all, all of our community that. members out in Stockbridge okay. and okay. Rochester. Uh, Hello. Uh, um, please consider. How do we, do we want to advertise? Do we want to? Well, I think, I think what we need to do is I'll, we need to. I, 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 I mean, maybe I'll I think, I think you should put your. Well, we don't want. The, we we do want to leave room for community members yeah. and a teacher and, and a parent and a parent and eight people. Right. So Bonnie's going to be on it. And I'll be on it. All oh, right. Yeah. And we should have a we should have a we should have a faculty Ethan's member from the school. Janie, Megan, Bonnie, and myself. Maybe not myself. We used to have else. a student. Not that we did in the past. We had a student. Oh, student. Absolutely. Like that. Megan said she would let somebody else be in her place. Katie, if Katie we get too would, many people, I'll. I mean, if Megan's out there, I'll be an alternate. She would. She'd be very good. I got a I got a quite a list from the Rochester board. Four. Mama goes to all these. So now it's your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, we have four floor. more slots, but we have to do a community, parent, teacher. And right, we and have to probably, probably, probably two teachers, teacher, right? Teacher I think from probably each campus. Teacher for each two campus. teachers, okay. Student and community members. One community member from each. Well, well, most would, of our teachers. Would it help if I own property in Rochester and Stockbridge? Would that cover <laughs> both communities? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Would you be interested in being on the committee? If it would help that I come from both towns, you yeah. same community members, which community? You yeah. well, have one from Rochester and Stockbridge, so if you I promise not that, to favor you know, are you looking at a, um, somebody who's a, a resident of each town? Or someone who owns property in each town? No, not necessarily so. either. I mean, not yeah. We should didn't you have, just, we should just you have one community so member five. from each town? Or you I should have so. a community member from I think Stockbridge? Right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sean's just back. Sean. Okay. Well, you should talk about Sean. Another, another. Um, Jenny, 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 Charles, and somebody who we think would be a community member. Stockbridge community. Yeah. Oh, you're Marilyn. Yes. Marilyn. Somebody else. Marilyn. Yes. 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 I think based she every done I would I would mind yeah, because he won't be a teacher here. Well, I'll get to Marilyn, so that's a that's not. Oh, all right. 
Well, why don't we? We need to. Let, I'm down for whatever teacher you have. Let's for who? Which who are the board members that are that are going to be on this? Because all we can really do as a board and, is, uh, is appoint ourselves. And Jamie. Okay, so I would entertain a motion that we uh, we 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 establish a uh, an ad hoc board committee to uh, facilitate the, the uh, principal uh, search and interview process. Um, can you I send them to I me? I second that. I so second whatever you said. Anybody new? Can you send them to me? Yeah. You? Sure. So uh, we've we, we a, a motion has been made and seconded to uh, form an ad hoc uh, principal search committee with uh, uh, two board members on it. I entertain nominations for those board members. I nominate Jane Feinberg. I, I accept. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be seconded. I know. I second. I second that. <laughs> For the I'm nominations. There you go. <laughs> I second that. Okay. I'm not paying attention. She's just so excited. She's on. A motion has been made and seconded with two nominated candidates for the for the board ad hoc principal uh, search committee. Uh, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Okay. So now we have that, and now you guys can deal with you know because you're 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 the. It's a board committee, and you're the board members on it. So you're the, the leaders, and you can facilitate adding the community members and the teachers as as as, 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 as necessary. As of now, so we have we want eight. We have six. Jamie, and but I'm going to call Marilyn. She'll Jamie be on. Jamie and Ethan. My husband can be a eight. parent, not a teacher. So that we need a teacher because he is going to be advocating for his kids in the school he does not teach at anymore. So, yeah. But. Uh, so then we need um, a teacher. Yeah. What is the is the recommendation unanimous? Is it majority? What's the how's that go? You said you, you read have, you read. Do you have a higher vote? Do you have more? Yes, he does. You read through the way all the, the official the way the, the official way that this process goes is I'm a facility. The su the, the well the officially the, the the way the law works is the superintendent submits a candidate to the board right. and the board. Thumbs up or thumbs downs that this candidate. board, not uh, this right. board. Guess what? Right. I'm not stupid. <laughs> yeah. um, but I mean, the, 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 traditionally, the way it, it comes in, you do things, you do interviews, you talk two. about it. You right. You, you and, and generally, down. generally, there's a consensus. So you say, I mean, no. in general, if my 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 feeling when I've been part of any kind of hiring, whether it's you know in in, in corporate America or in, in, in boards or whatever, is you come to you know it, it, you come to a consensus. You say you know we all pretty much like, and you may say, well, he's not my, my, my second candidate, but I could I could live with it. Mm -hmm. You know, really, if it comes down to the committee, you know, the the the, 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 the board is is five to four, you know, for someone, that's not a good. You, know, you want a candidate, pretty yeah, much everyone can kind of so, believe. So it. basically, the people that I won't recommend are people that aren't certified. I know something about them that. You know, basically, is something I don't want. I don't feel good about. Mm -hmm. And most of those people will be weeded out before we ever get in to crunch time. Uh, you know, first of all, you've got to have somebody that's licensed. Um, and usually, I make some phone calls and try to find out uh, what so we're talking about. So, who's, who's our other uh, two of the six? Uh, Janie, Ethan, Bruce, Bonnie, Sean. We said Sean and, and Marilyn. And Marilyn. But that leaves no teacher. Oh, we've got two. Oh, we've well, got two. Oh, oh we want to do eight. eight. Right. Then I'm going to do eight. Down yeah, 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 no, and he should, he, should, he can be a, a parent actually. He should. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to ask. We should have a, an elementary teacher on our on the hiring committee. Okay. So let me ask some people. Sure. Yes. And I'll yes, think Don would be perfect for you. It seems to be the go-to. Yeah, do you want to now? choose some dates that we can meet with the with the applicants? I'll do it in a doodle poll. Okay. Yeah, because we we would. Yes, yeah. yeah. so usually. Could, it'll take us another half an hour. How many meetings okay. will this does this will this take? And then there's interviews after that, right? I'm Maybe just curious, I'm just getting a, a sense. A lot of it will depend on how many people we want to interview. Yeah, so the first step will be we'll read the end resumes. Yeah. Yeah, you get a stack of resumes. I think probably we'll let you look at it electronically. Yeah, for uh, having gone through the process, <coughs> I think it's important before you, I mean, without saying it, before you start interviewing and going through the resumes, that 
you make your list of what you think are the right. priorities for the qualifications, which then means your first step, of course, is to <coughs> get her inputs, as you decided before, and then get your heads together and say, what, is it, what are we looking for? What specific leadership, yes, education, you know, so attitude, and so forth. Yeah. Yep. So yep. that you then, that becomes your framework for when you're doing the interim viewing process <coughs> to mm -hmm. see where the candidate, if a lot of that can be eliminated, just through the resumes, but in this case you only have eight of ten, so it's not a big deal, but, no. um, or eleven, whatever it is. So I would just recommend. No, yeah, absolutely. No, you, you definitely want to set you want to set goals before you start looking at people. So that's and that's a that's process. That's not what I'm getting at. It's not just like 20 minutes you sit down and come out with it. You really it takes a little while to get the consensus from a board, mm -hmm. especially unified board, of what you're really looking for. So the the first meeting should be probably us looking at those resumes and, and figuring out which right. ones are well, the first thing you should probably be some offline exchange and, and also yeah. um, I've got a bank a bunch of banks of questions and they are separated by curriculum discipline all different kinds of categories that are possible now you can bring your own I mean if there's something but but we try to keep them pretty standardized so that we ask the candidates the same thing so you can you can look at that. Nice that. Okay. What are the mistakes made over the last three principles? No, please don't even right. get me started. Let's <laughs> <laughs> well, take those mistakes or those that's concerns thinking, and yes. turn them into the, well, that's the qualities that we're looking like, for. You can take what? those These problems people. and make them the qualities that we're trying to search for. We really, like, really are need to uncover a collaborative person, exactly. somebody who really wants to work with everybody else, a good communicator. Uh, somebody that's pretty flexible, uh, innovative, Work has a lot of good ideas, hardworking, <laughs> all those things. And I'm not sure we sh shouldn't um, go to the site where they are and see what they're doing, you know, and see them on site. I, I mean, because I think that an interview, from my past experience now, I think an interview doesn't always show you. I think we can say that in Rochester as well. So I think we can, both our schools have suffered from a similar ratio. Don't you start singing Frozen. <laughs> Bruce, is, it, is the, this, this position, is it full time or? Yes, it is full time. It's full time. Correct. Uh, you okay, so you right. sent out a Google uh, Doc. Before we uh, end, uh, do I do I need to? Does this board need to make a motion to create a fund uh, that we were talking about in the Rochester board? The Rochester board has created a like this. You know, we were doing these funds. There's a, a, a fund we are creating. We need to create it here too, right? Well, you have certain warrant articles on your. Are you talking Correct. about we something can't, else? We can't add, right? I can't change these, right? right. We we had talked about in our Rochester board meeting of setting up a fund, an ed a specific education fund. For Do you got the word? I want to create the pockets so that they can put funds into it. Right, because we don't have it on the Rochester side. I thought we made one of those education and This is Richmond. specific to the okay. building fund, to building research, to building. We wanted to create a fund that is a little broader than that, that can be used for any educational purposes. Hmm. Education fund, we have to do it at the Rochester students. At the meeting. I think we can do it. Education and Richmond. Mm -hmm. no. It has to be more than 30 days, though. I know. That's, that's the problem. Is and I didn't know if we needed to, yeah, to, no. to make a motion to do that here and to get that created. Yeah, probably. Probably. Okay. This is the, you don't have much time. This is, right. so. this is no, the motion to the general fund. We have the specific funds. We so have created, we right, we, we, for the new unified district uh, at our budget meeting, we created two, three funds. One is a um, reserve fund um, for capital improvements and to maintenance of the district's facility in Stockbridge. And then we created another one for capital improvements, maintenance of the district's facility in Rochester. 
And then we created another one to um, for a, any fund could be used in whole or in part for tuition in. And so that it is district wide. Mm -hmm. right. So, so to, uh, which is smart. right, it's, a, it's smart. Um, so at our Rochester board meeting, we discussed the uh, the having funds that we would like to put into a uh, into a fund <laughs> into a reserve fund, but not specifically just for for building maintenance and building capital improvements. We broadened it so it wouldn't actually pigeonhole it specifically so for that. It could be for stuff. educational. It could be for enrichment yes. programs. It could be for um, curriculum. Curriculum, right? Anything Artificial that has to do with education. I mean, could it be used? If we, we'd said it could also be used for our helping when we move our preschool playground because we're going to need to dig up and put in probably six chips, probably right, six thousand dollars right, worth of. But that 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 way you can just stick that whatever bit of money into the building reserve fund because you could the moving stuff is capital improvement not the building. Okay, so we could but take money from this fund to fund that. Absolutely. Right. But if, if we had any other anything else. Right. That is if we wanted to do right, like a specific enrichment right. program. So this is, and so we And this is we're we're talking about like the proceeds from the sale, mm -hmm. is that what we're thinking of? Mm -hmm. And that's gonna close before June thirtieth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um <laughs> That's what we said for June 2. We're hoping. I'd have to, I mean. I think it's a good idea. No, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. I, right, so I it's, it's, and we made, we, we, we talked about better. not pen, pigeoning it, it down to like, oh, just to do an environmental program or something. Like, that would be awesome, but I don't want to restrict it. I want right. to be able to. Right. Yeah. At yeah. the same it's time, really you don't necessarily want to say, let's, let's stick it all away for the building. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I guess all I'm saying is I'd like to, I'd like us to create a fund, establish a, a fund for an education fund. I guess we have to have the exact same word. Is it, so it's, is it, it's, it's these things here, these 4.11, 4.12, 4.13, no, it's another one of those. It is correct, and unfortunately it's not, it, it's not going to be on our annual meeting, though, due to timing wise, and it just, so it's at another, the next board meeting after that? It's, we, we it's, have to it's going to have to be a special post thing, and, and but Rochester's going to need to do that well, too. To so be, hopefully we can just do it at the same night, you know, kind of thing. It would thing. have to be a stock rate. It would have to be an RSUD thing because it would be an RSUD fund. This, that, but Rochester, to establish it, still has, we need to you need do to, the same thing. Right, you Maybe need to do the same night kind of thing. What I would place land for our attorney to draft it is the, so idea of the language of the purpose to right well, down we, to we I thought we had that and, and it was recorded um, by our in our minutes I just I didn't actually write the, the exact wording down of it I so. think she called it a, you called it enrichment fund an enrichment an education fund. Enrichment fund. That's what I wrote if down. it's something that's going to be an RSUD I don't know how that interacts with Stockbridge I know someone in the past had talked about um, like it going towards debt, that sort of thing. I don't know um, how it gets voted on or whatever. Well, it's to it's to take the money. It's to to it's to take the money and not roll it into the budget, the uh, right now. Right. And which would just become the fund, um, is yes. the fund balance. Safe. And it's to take it and be able to separate that then and and like your you you guys have a building reserve fund. So it's being able to take that building reserve fund that you currently have, bring it, it has to go someplace. It can't stay, because Stockbridge is not going to be, that yeah, district no, dissolved, so that, that, that fund needs to then come into the new district under a fund that's set up the same way right. for Stockbridge. So it's coming into the new district for specifically for Stockbridge use. Right. And so, um, so Rochester has, is hoping to have be able to do that as well. Okay, yeah, with yeah. Yeah, and again, um, we're doing it for edu yeah. general education. I wonder. There's a part of me that just that that that, that says it might be simpler just to put it into the building fund and then move it next year into a different fund. Can't do that, right? You so can't you move it. Move, in. You can if you can order our to move it into a fund. I'm pretty sure. 
I'm just trying to think about how to get the. So we'd have to. Do we, we'd have to if we decided to if we decided to 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 to, to, to write another article. Mm -hmm. We'd have to warn it and warn a special mm -hmm. meeting for it. Mm -hmm. Right. And. Right. And again, Rochester doesn't have this fund to start with anyway. Right. So we have to to create. Right. We have to do a special meeting. And the time crunches. Does this need to be done before July? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to have to put the money somewhere. Right. So right. So, so, so what's the, I don't know. what's the, is there any? So I don't know. have a design to do this like, too? Well, we don't have. I mean, we don't. We don't have. Uh, 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 we don't have a, an unexpected source of revenue to need a place to talk. Right. Um, but would it make sense if we're doing it? I don't, I don't know what money would, we would put in it, but... Well, and also, what are, isn't all this become unified after July 1st? I well, don't understand why it isn't unified, along with everything else. It is, it's... I mean, it, it is going into the new district for specific use. Like, the, the Stockbridge Building Reserve Fund is going coming into the new district but it's going into a fund that is specific for use on the Stockbridge campus. But as of the unified budget next year, we're going to have a unified budget. Wouldn't everything else in all Not the reserve funds be a unified well, well, what, 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 I'm just No, so no the difference with the budget is... trying to make a campus specific. Right, but not tied to just to the building. Like a, like a I'm not sure right, what, what I'm trying to understand is what program... Well, we didn't really have a... Sp I mean, what I'm was just trying to figure out what... I mean. What would you be be be? Uh, you know, Forest the, Friday. Maybe we could use it for now that we're going to need to move Forest Friday stuff. Um, or if we need to put money but, into the building reserve because we right. Well, you could put it into the building reserve now. You could the the okay. the, the, the it could, if, if 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 there was a if there was a Rochester if you made a Rochester building reserve fund, you could land it there and it would roll into the into the Rochester um, RSUD. Right, but if we. And I'm just trying to think of something that would be well, uh, not a unified program, but wouldn't be a building or a capital improvement. Because doing land work, if you needed to make a new trail or move, you know, move, you know, right, like, moving the greenhouse, moving all those sorts of, you know, all those, the, a lot of those things really fall under building reserve. So now that you're a unified board, and I, I think part of what this thinking is, is looking back at yourselves like you're just independent schools of one another again and since there's going to have to be a decision made by all six of you to move money from this fund wherever it's going to go mm -hmm. I wonder if maybe the fund shouldn't be for both mm -hmm. campuses well that's sort of my and, and, and therefore it's supposed uh, to be, you'll be moving in unison yeah. rather than yeah. one right. Well, I, I think I, I know where Amy's trying to go with this, but well, we've never had a, right. we've never had right. an unexpected amount of revenue. Um, right. And you know, it's it's um, the building. I mean, the the the, the I, and I, I understand the need to have separate building reserve funds just because if the school closes, if 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 something happens. All the statutes say that the school buildings, the town has first right of right of first refer, refusal to get it for a buck. Um, and I can understand wanting to say, okay, this was you know a, a real estate asset of the you know the of, of the Ro of the Rochester School District that we wanted you guys to be rid of before right. the consolidation or the merger happened. Um, and you know, um, but I, it's I find it, I. So here's I, I don't. I, I'm just trying to wrap my head around what a, yeah. what would be a non, you know, putting it in there and saying, okay, it's it can we can relocate, you know, do anything on the Rochester campus with it. So here's the here's the here's the vision uh, or the, the thought is, you don't have any money left for field trips, but you want the kids to go to um, nature's classroom, and it's a really kind of a high quality unusual type of uh, field trip that you want the kids to go on. So you tap into the trust fund because it's for enrichment purposes and this is a high quality science, environmental something that you're gonna do. Okay. Um, same thing could be some kind of uh, really 
cool fa field trip somewhere. They've been doing a unit on mummies, and they need to go to a museum now or something. But see, again, I don't, I don't see how that wouldn't be, you know. So, so that would. Because it's a Rochester fund, that's to make sure the Rochester. Well, no, I, get I, I'm, I'm not advocating for it to just be in Rochester. I'm thinking it ought to be for both. Yeah, it has to be. Because all of you are going to be making a decision to let those funds go yeah. when it's time to, you know, use them. So, so that it's a, it's a, it's a union, a unified district fund. Well, and not only that, can you see kids going to <coughs> Rochester to this fabulous trip and not? Allowing <coughs> the campus to do that too. Yeah, I mean, that's that would be awful. Well, and and you know the 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 other reality of of being a school board is if some giant opportunity comes along and it's not necessarily in the budget, the board can just say to do it anyways, and just deficit spend. You know, and yes, maybe the board has to face the voters and say, you know what, we had this great opportunity to join with um, Randolph and share their busing expenses and go on this this trip to, to uh, I don't know, Newport News or to go to Washington, D.C. or whatever it might be, you know, just like, just like you, you don't say, well, the roof fell in, but we don't have it in the budget this year, so <laughs> we'll, we'll, just, you know, next year. we'll fix that, we'll fix that next year. I hope it so, rain. you know, I, 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 I think, I mean, certainly we, we, we can try it. I, I just, I, I would think that, the, that if you wanted to protect it, you know, it came from a Rochester real estate asset, and should the buildings here get, get you know, or something happen to the schooling here, those buildings become part of Rochester. I can understand wanting to tie it to, you know, to the, to the facilities that are, uh, that are attached to the town. That's what they were trying you know, to do. But I think that, you know, we'll, if, if, if some great field trip or some enrichment activity came along, I think that we'd find a way to fund it. I know. See, that's the... The thought, I guess, is that I just want to make sure that we can, we have money to provide opportunities for the kids. Yeah. That are so maybe above and beyond what. If uh, it was a unified, if, um, if it was a unified yeah. fund. Oh, oh, can, can I go back a minute? One sure. Minute, before the deals were cut, obviously you were going to sell the building, and that would, that money would go to Rochester and not be part of the unified budget or unified property. So technically, the net money. Has that been in this process of the conversations already kind of thought about going somewhere? Was that money from that building going to go into Rochester Building Fund? Was there any kind of preconceived ideas of how that money would be spent? When that there there had been some discussion uh, during the, during the, the uh, uh, merger conversations yeah. that that money uh, might have gone, might have been put towards the principal of the debt. The Rochester's uh, uh, bond yeah, debt, but that was, you know, that was that was uh, less debt on Rochester. I remember that as well. That's way back. Otherwise, right. we could yeah, have just yeah. sold the building from the Unified Board and not be rushing to sell it before the Unified Board takes yeah. over, and then the Unified right. Board now well, has the money. We could have taken our time. Well, what maybe, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe I still don't have the answer to my question. So part of it was discussed. The, that it could go against the Rochester debt. Right. But basically, the answer is that that money that comes from that sale goes to Rochester School Board. Correct. For Rochester Before only the purposes Before because that. you're not Before a unified board. Unified. So in that case, I guess I'm kind of wondering why why you want to set up a separate fund. What are you going to do? With, let's, let's say you set up your fund for education and enrichment, and you put in five thousand dollars. What do you plan to do with the other thirty-five thousand dollars? Is that going into a reserve fund for what, or are you just floating out there without no head purpose at this point? Well, I think that was the idea of um, doing a general education fund because it can encompass so many possibilities of use for that. I think that, from my point of view, that, that now you're kind of narrowing. You've got your thirty-five thousand dollars, and you're saying, okay, we're going to use all that money to put in a general education fund. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Or, or, yeah, I mean, I mean, this is all we're all brainstorming about. I know, this, but, but we yeah. do have a we do have a. Right. A motion that was approved by the school board, which you're now talking about to get approved by the unified right. board. So I was just kind of see how much has been committed in terms of what people expected from that money that comes to Rochester. And at this point, I guess there were no expectations other than it goes to Rochester. Right. The, so okay. then it's up to Rochester to decide whether they want to put it in the reserve fund in general, I don't think anybody go against the debt. Really no. no. And, and I don't understand how, because the assets as of July 1st, the assets of the one become the assets of the unified district. So even if it wasn't in fund, 
I mean, except for specific funds. Well, but, uh, but then, then who would who would decide what that would do with that fund if there's no longer a Rochester school board? The, the fund has to be established in the new district. That's what this these funds are. It has to be established in the new district. So the money from the and and the easiest example is because Stockbridge has sorry, a building I know fund. You're this again. It's just trying to. It's okay. So Stockbridge has. It's, I'm sorry to use that example. It's just it's okay. it works. Stockbridge has a building reserve fund that they have created and they have funded throughout the years. When we join on July 1, that entity is gone. So that money needs to now come into the new entity. But it still needs to be, there is a specific fund, it was, uh, understanding for that money and it needs to carry through to the new district. Yeah. And so that's why you have to set up uh, fund in the new right. district. I understand that. Right. I understand right. that. And I understand that's why, because we had to vote on that before, because we'd be right in the morning, because that was essential. Right. So I, I guess I still don't quite get why this money is coming from sale from as of July 1st, which would be a unified property. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we could have sale would be before you. Right. It's going to be before. before. Then, with then afterwards, it's that money sitting mm -hmm. there. I, I, I guess I did. Everything's, right, well, everything's everybody's, you know. I mean, after that. Well, then we should no have had to sell it now. Part of us. See, I don't get. I don't quite get understand the debt, why. So why don't we get? Why it has to be well, sold because before. why did it have to be sold before July one? Then the thinking, the th it, it, as I recall, that there was much more of a of a trying to hold the feet to the fire. Rochester had all this real estate, right. yeah, and, and there there was the concern yeah. that you yeah. know yeah. that there had been work already been done towards divesting that, and so it was kind of you know let's see Rochester. Put some effort into that and, 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 and do that, so it's it's less as opposed to it's less that 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 yeah. No, I and, I and I understand that, that and and I like I said I understand too that you know if there's if there's money that's tied to the building and the school closed and the building went to the town that money you know that reserve fund would follow the building so you know I could see that I could see that you know that protects you know the, the Rochester, Rochester gets you know a, a real estate insurance for their building to to, to, to keep it up now certainly just like with the Stockbridge fund this the people that you know the the new unified board would have to vote on whatever was coming out of that right. fund, but the, the and hopefully going forward next year when we've we've been really efficient and we've really saved money on this building, we we found that we over budgeted and we have a, a surplus. We're going to put money in both building reserve funds again, just right. because you know it, it's kind of like you know you, you know you you know that the town's backhoe is going to is going to die in 10 years, so you put a tenth of a backhoe away every year <laughs> so that you know it comes up. And the same thing, you know, the furnace is going to go, we, we put money in. It would be well to so be answer a question, though, yes. because I think there will also be a perception on Stockbridge's part that it was going to go to pay down the debt. Absolutely. That's what I was Is there a reason to not consider bring down the using debt? that money against our bonds bring down the debt? before July 1? That's what they are going to that, That's going to have to be answered. Right 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 it's not a foregone conclusion that we're going to that it's going to sell. No, with these what? variance issues. With these variance issues. Oh no, I a, No, I'm confident. Confident that the board will will grant the subdivision. Okay. They well, but the subdivision with the variances, because we don't. We're not interested. There's not a variance. There's no variance. There's an easement. There's two easements. But no variance. A variance uh, changes the law. Yeah. An easement means that that property can be used by the school, even though he still owns it. So there will be an, an easement. Easement. There's an easement. It's in it. Not a variance. Okay. Okay. A variance would be to and sell it in, just in like it is today, yeah. without the new survey. Okay. What are, What are we talking about? Just, I think just, we well, need to make it. I think we need to make a decision. I'm, I'm really concerned that this budget isn't providing for. I mean, I mean, we're, we're talking about closing buildings or talking about maintaining buildings. I mean, I'm concerned that this budget doesn't have um, what a building fund, what a building reserve fund would cover. 
in terms of maintaining this structure that is three and a half million dollars in value. I mean, I, I, I see a value of a fund that is Rochester site specific in terms of maintaining this structure as an asset going forward. And I also see a use for site specific funds for some kind of magnet programming or some kind of special use programming that in this case might involve, you know, what, what are unique um, opportunities offered by the structure? Kyle was saying, well, what would be, well, for, for Christ's sake, we have an auditorium here. Uh, that it, I mean, I just, I mean, just think about, just think about this, think about, think about that money in terms of what this site has uniquely that, for example, Stockbridge doesn't. And, and, and I, would say, I would say an auditorium, which is a performance space. Um, but I mean, just, I, I think that's, I, I think your question, Carl, has actually some fairly simple answers. Um, but it, but, but it, it's probably a fund that should combine a building fund and some site-specific um, en enrichment capacities that make use of the unique um, resources of, of this space, and 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 not only the not only the unique resources of this building, but the unique resources of that building, which has a gym. I mean, it's just like I mean that's the answer to your question. Tom. Right. So the the fund is not for enrichment just for Rochester students. It is enrichment no, it's, to it's, bring John Geller to Rochester for all of our students. It's for enrichment that makes use of the capacities that Rochester has. I mean, and, and there could be such a fund for Stockbridge too, that that is making use of its special, unique attributes for all the uh, students. For all the students, it's just site specific. But it's site specific because there are some the resources here that are site. The benefits are, avail are available for all ch all the children. We're trying to merge. It seems like why are we being so site specific on everything? It seems like the point is because there are some. I, because there are some site-specific differences, that's why. <coughs> but it sounds like part of it is going on field trips. I don't know, I just disagree. No, well, well I think I, we have an but, I'm, but I'm saying... I think this is part of the bigger okay. question. Oh well, no, it's hard. Well, there you go. Um, uh, this is part of the bigger question, because it ends up connected to this building. And this building is the big question for both towns in different ways. But but I, but I think that, I think that. But that's not the question. The question on the table is, do we set up this fund? Right. right. The question on the table is, do we set the up this fund? Discussed. We need to decide this, because we're going on and on and on and we're going on. Right. And Let's make a decision, and yes or no. We need, you, we need to see language. We can't, we can't set up a fund. No, I know. But I'm just saying, we, we can language. instruct him to, to sure. set up we can, we can certainly, so we can certainly so take a look at the that, that, that also puts it out sure. another month. Do we still have time before July 1st to have it set up, to have the special meeting, and to have the fund created? If we if we instruct him and it's going out to now June. No, we don't have time. We, yeah, yeah. Well, so no, we can. So right. that's we, we. We could certainly. We got time. Um, we you know, if we announced him, if if you announced a meeting, and then said at, at the at the meeting on the twenty second, and said here, you know, by the way, we're going to be doing this, and there'll be another special vote about it. You got. If you're announcing that meeting on on May 22nd, you know you 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 you've got you know any time after uh, what June 21st because there's 31 days in May. You know you've got that that window in there to have what should probably be a special meeting procedural vote. It seems like is what what we're talking about. Um, so we will not have a meeting before that to individually talk about the language and. We would get. We would get. Well, I mean, it's, it's getting the legal language and seeing what it, seeing, seeing what it said and seeing what, you know, uh, the, the, you know, the lawyer said about it. How that. How. I mean, have you talked about this just amongst yourself, or have you talked about this with Dina? Just, no, this was uh, very briefly brought up about um, two hours our, ago. Yeah, in our last <laughs> meeting, just because of of the essence of time, and um, 
I'm not gonna, but you didn't have, have to have this conversation prior to even have Yeah, and I mean, we had, we had a 45 minute meeting prior to this that we, or it was at the right. level on it, that we were like rushing through. Mm -hmm. this, so, um, was put paying down the debt ever considered, guys? Or no, that wasn't a consideration? Well, we could talk about it, I guess. Um, I don't know the mechanism for doing that. Um, we could talk to, to David about how that would work. Um, I mean, I think all I'm saying it's going to be a question because it was discussed, and that's what we thought at least in part was going to happen. And so if it's not going to happen, then that's going to have to be addressed because that and would be something that bring up this vote of our special bond our special reserve fund at the meeting. I see that as just a it's potential a red, red flag that yeah, we don't want flag. when we're trying to pass it. Yep, I agree. Right, but we also don't want to not mention, not talk about this special vote at, at the annual meeting and then just kind of quietly, yeah. quietly afterwards say, here, we've done this. You know, um, well, it's just, it's just the reality. What do we, I, I, just, the, the, I guess the next I, question I feel is, that what, is it, what, what kind of, I think, <laughs> let's, 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 what, what kind of dollars are we talking about? Are we talking about? We can talk about that in open meeting. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know if it's. it's I didn't know if it's. You know, if, if because it's under contract, it's a matter of public domain, or. I don't know what, the, what the what the deal is, but again, if you know, there's there, there, there's a the different. Can we talk about the here? It's noticed in the paper last week. Oh, it is. It's back in the classified section. Okay. It's noticed yeah. who's buying it and for how much money. And it's posted. It's public notice. Posted all over town too. Yeah. Okay. So that's so seventy-five. I, 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 Seventy-five thousand. Seventy-five thousand. Okay. So it's no, not. Right. It's it's it's, it's, it's not trivial, but it's also not like changing the money. Right. No. 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 Um. You know what do you think it's going to take to do the work on the property that needs to be done to make the property ready? Moving the plate. You said you talked about you know a, 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 the preschool a, playground a, needs to be moved. Ton of mulch. Yeah, I was told that probably a, a ballpark figure was about six thousand dollars for to move the first school foot two. So another six thousand dollars to move the or another few and thousand dollars. I don't know how much to move, to move the greenhouse. Green well, this is all, all right, but I mean, but yeah, let's let, let's 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 yeah. let, let's just spitball this for a minute and say that say that you know the, the you you got to to out of that seventy five grand you're getting you got to, to spend about ten. To get the to, to, to yeah. remediate the property the way they want to get your play, playground right to get your so I mean again I I'm, I it, 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 it seems like if a lot of it's being spent on that well certainly we you can put that the money away for that right there or you can just spend it right out of the proceeds to do the that's work. what I mean, that's why that's what we suggested. I just don't do know. Right away, yeah, I just don't, don't know timing wise right. about you know. Right. Well, so that, but I mean, and, and the that's the stuff we really want to pay for out of the sale too. We want to make sure that our preschool has a playground that's you know right. we're destroying you their to, playground. To, right. And if you need to fix that entrance or, or rear not not right. fix it but rearrange the landscaping or what's going on over there. Right. If, you wanna, if we're putting up some kind of right. Those those sorts of things. So those things all again can come out of the the, the, the building sure. reserve fund. So you can oh. transfer X amount of it to there, and then you know let's let's get well, some we, idea. We what still need to create a, a, a Rochester. Still going to have to create a building reserve fund. I the town would. Yeah. 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 Town. Yeah. But I mean, let's get town. get those yeah. get those town. numbers yeah. together. It's not let's town. see. It's the I'm sorry. That's what I mean. The, 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 yeah. the, I meant by town. I meant the original board. Right. The the the, the, the town board. Um, the town school board. But I mean, I think okay. if let's let's let I mm -hmm. I, I, I so wonder if we're I wonder, I wonder if we're if we're we're, we're working our, ourselves into a lather over something that really by the time we do the work that needs to be done it's going to be spent anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. there, yeah. we, what's there to be left? Yeah. So yeah. We handle on those numbers. Do we have a reserve fund? Um, right. No. 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 We don't have a reserve fund now. It's directed where the easement is, just so that children know. Uh, if we're able to, then yes, I would. It, that it, it, may, it may be defined that you, you should. For I, liability purposes, we I have an easement with children on one side. There has to be a line. I think that if we're allowed to do that, that would make me be very okay with the, the property states as it is. Mm -hmm. And then there's a tree on the property that was part of the discussion. Right. The, um, 
memorial tree, memorial tree. tree. Mm -hmm. that and in fact it does becomes an issue to be moved. Well, so um, but so we're we're pulling right. It's all building stuff. Tree. We got one of the, it's the Rochester. Right. It's it's a, it's it's part of the Rochester school legacy. Right. You know what? It, what would the board do with it absent this 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 merger? You know, again, this is for the, for the most part, of, you know, a a, a current Rochester decision. Right. So basically, Rochester doesn't have a building reserve fund like Southbridge. Well, they, 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 they do not have uh, one that's got any funds in it. Yeah, I would, towns, okay. Both towns, both towns I have would, one I would need to find out if we have one. But you have, you have, have one have that's one? funded and we have one that's not funded, is that what you're saying? We don't, we don't know. Yeah, we've been, we've they been. They have one that's funded, we have one that's not funded. Okay. Correct. So, Absolutely. you know, in a sense of knowing both buildings need one work or another, to me, a logical thing would do set up a reserve fund with the monies because they're still retaining the funds from the building that's going to be theoretically transacted before. Yeah, we, we definitely could just put it into a building reserve fund and instead. Then, I, you then, know, here yeah. we are trying to think of education yeah. more and, and opportunities yeah. for the kids exactly. and try to just keep All that money works. like more accessible to and not like specific to, well, it can only be used for professional yeah. development. It can only be used for environmental programs. Maybe the wording of the fund that you established can be amended or whatever to make it a little bit more broad to help say it's not just for leaky roofs, it might also include some of these enhancements to the building, as you say, that would help your education and help your adventure. But make sure you have your, your fund has enough broadness to it. Well, that's the idea, that right? Would, that would, the basic fund would be a, quote, building improvement or building fund to kind of keep this place going without passing that burning on over to Stockbridge, which passing on over to us. Right. Because mm -hmm. understand the, right. the, the Right. Well, and, and again, I think I'm, I, 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 I do think there's probably enough wiggle room in, you know, again, a capital improvement can be putting together the facility for a, for, a, for a program. You know, it doesn't, right, have, to be, it doesn't, not, it doesn't have to be limited to well, you know, furnaces and, 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 and windows. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, well, there's a lot to think about. This is all gone super duper fast, yeah. so yep. uh, not able so to process. Many of these things have. Um, yep. So, you know, and it is definitely a, a sensitive issue because Rochester has given up so much. Absolutely. Um, we've given up a high school and a middle school and, sure. and you know, Something our preschool did. playground now. And um, right. it, it's a very, there's a lot of, it's very sensitive. You know, no, I, we're never ever going to have a graduating class again. You know? That is, that is, well. And, You'll have you'll have you 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 will graduate kids from sixth grade. Yeah. We have we have you know. And, and I know it's still it's bad. I'm not saying that. It's still it's not just it's it's it's, 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 it's hard. It's, it's very hurtful. You know we're wounded. Yeah. You know? Right. No, I I I, 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 I understand that. And town property is it's I mean for you guys it's the last thing the, the last thing that that I I, I would suggest to you. Yeah, of the current Rochester board, yeah. the other thing you could consider doing is going because uh, you have a trustees of public funds that has a school account, correct? Yes. Yep. You could always, you could always, as the Rochester board, this year that's having a closing before June thirtieth, you could decide that those funds would be designated to be added to the Rochester school town. Trustees of public school, funds school funds. funds. Mm -hmm. So that might give some of the fra flexibility Frank wants without having to have a, a, you know, a, a complicated third party vote and and, 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 and you know, put something together. Right. You know, certainly, you know, I mean it's there's there 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 there's inequities in the coming together and there's always going to be. You know, we we if you look at that top line, Rochester's rolling over a six-figure, a six-figure surplus into the budget, and Stockbridge has got like a fifteen thousand dollar deficit. Okay. So there's, you know, there, 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 there's right some there. inequity that's coming in in, 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 in that phase. You guys have a have a long-term debt. We don't. Right. Um, there's some inequities there. I think that, Pretty you know, in the, in the in the in the in the big picture, you know, we've we've done a lot of work, and I think we can get the rest of this, you know, get the rest of this right as we, you know, step through it. Yep. Uh, I wish Frank had been here, or I had thought of the comment about the, the, the public funds. 
So, so it would become another fund like the, that list that I was talking with you about right. today? Yes. And basically it's not the trustees of public funds that handle it, it happened to be the treasurer. The, the tre it's really belongs to the school, but it happens to be uh, managed by some of the funds that the trustees manage. But it's a school funds, not a town fund. Right. right. So right. Well, there's, and, and that's been a, that's, that, that's been an issue in Stockbridge in the past has been the money was given to the school district. Is it, you know, and the, 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 when, uh, when I was on the board a number of years ago, there was a question that uh, a, a former board member raised and got an opinion on as to, you know, is it the trustees of public funds that say we're designating this much money to you? Is the school board saying we want to draw down this fund to this level? Um, the legal opinion that the, 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 the former board member got said that it was the school board's decision. The town's general feeling was no, the trustees of public funds are the people that should be really making that based on financial advice because it's not about using it to pull it down for a short-term gain. It's about their job is, is to, to, to keep that money and, and husband it and, 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 and grow it and, 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 and shepherd it into the next generation. And so we never, we never push that, that any farther than that. We generally just take what the, we, we have a, a dialogue with the trustees of public funds and kind of come up with, with, with things more together. And they've, they've been uh, more recently uh, a, a, a more, more collaborative than, than some of the, the, the members were in Stockbridge in the past. Right. But, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 it would certainly put that money in, in, into a different pocket than, than necessarily trying to, to, to have a special meeting to make a fund. Yeah, so, that's true. They, they had the money the school board could say would invest it for the rest of the other and just set up the main board and get right. it to the bank. And that's and which, but that's also something that you know. There's a different culture around the trustees of public funds in Stockbridge. Oh, well, I don't know. Well, yeah, I hope. <laughs> and, well, yeah. well, just just you know, I, I, it'll be something that going forward, yeah. we're going to need to be we're going to need to be discussing and working on and, and figuring out how to level that playing field right. too. Right. Yeah, we haven't had a problem yet. We have so many different playing fields with so many different yeah, different levels. Quite a few so, do you guys do you have um, yeah, uh, special funds and, and endowments mm -hmm. and such? We have, there is, there is, uh, the town has, um, traditionally the school has gotten money from the, it used to be before, before welfare and before social security, that uh, most towns had a, had a, had a, had a, had a poor fund. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so we still have a poor fund that has, that, that, that we use to help with, um, Kids, uh, making sure kids get all you know the, the free and reduced yeah, kids. The Whitcomb? Yeah, the Whitcomb Fund helps. Uh, we we use that to help make sure we have equity for for the families that might not be able to to afford things rather than because the way it used to be is you would go to the poor fund and you mm -hmm. go and meet with the meet with the commissioner and say I need some wood and they'd say here's two cords <laughs> or you know go tell you know, here's a chit go take it over to to, to him he'll give you two cords of wood. Um, the way we do it at the school now is rather than making someone have to go hat in hand, we say we got to usually get a few hundred dollars to buy like a ton of mittens, yeah. so that every kid, you know, when it's time to go outside, there's mittens available for everyone. So that's that's the stuff we've done. We, we've taken from the 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 the, 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 the Wickham fund, and then the school fund. There's a separate fund. The Wickham family also gave money to the schools of Stockbridge, and that the trustees in general have. Usually done a, 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 often just a blanket, uh, a blanket check of here's you know here's this much money to put into the, to put in as a revenue. Uh, this last year they they gave us some more focused money th that we use to uh, 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 help some of our admin administration decisions. But you know that's that, that that's how that's that's been. In years past, when the um, trustees of public funds put money into the Rochester budget, is that what the money was? Is from the from the Rochester funds, it wasn't. It was separate from the monies from your school funds. Okay, that, I, I don't understand the whole fund thing. Yeah, we've well, we diverged into that. Yeah, but thank it's you. That was, to do it, right? I, that, yeah. I just was kind of wondering. Thank yeah. you. But, but I think there is still the question outstanding with some of the funds which we discussed about last year, that the schools under their auspices, how are they going to be technically administered? Do they still stay with the school, or is it something that funnels into? A joint, um, a joint uh, school situation, 
And that, to my knowledge, I don't know, um, I don't think the supervisor union got involved in that one yet. No. Um, but right. it's, it's going to have to be looked at by a lawyer. Right, because um, right, the, the way the fund specific to the students of the, Rock, the um, Stockbridge School and yes. their... That's, that's that's part of the reason why I think we originally said when we built this budget not to try to, to draw down on that because we weren't sure if, we, if doing that would break because it's a trust yep. and you know not and, and, and how to do that without breaking the trust. Right, because right. well, I say it's just one it's one more, you know, it's a yes, it's another, it has it's to another, be, another, has to be another uh, uh, a minefield we'll, we'll get to, we'll get to, to I hope that a right? And is that something we, we need to figure out before no, July 1? I think we, I think it's something that we say that we're going to be getting some legal opinion on and address, and that for now we're, 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 we're setting that aside till we have clarity. Okay, so we don't have to have it. There the must be dozens of towns that are in the same situation. Well, we need to make sure th from the lawyer that that is indeed true. Well, and Jeff is going to pull out all of the material, right, and get it for Raja. Right, because it doesn't have to be figured out right now. That's what I mean, that's you're saying. Wonderful. It's in process. Well, we, we need to know. Yeah. 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 Sure. Right. Which is good because you got enough to do between now and July first. Right. Without tapping that. Right. Yeah, that's all right. 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 Okay. It is now nine o'clock. We are half an hour over when we when we said we were, which actually was yes. kind of good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Please note that uh, when you look at the agenda, that, that while the uh, Thursday, May 17th date is listed for the Rochester informational meeting, there is a Tuesday, May 15th Stockbridge informational meeting. Right, and that's on the back of oh, one of the minutes. Right, it's on the, ba it's, it's on the back of the minutes, but I just wanted to make sure that the... Yeah, it's on the, the calendar. Yes, you calendar.